Yo, yo, yo. What is up, everybody? Welcome, everybody, to the stream. We're just starting up here, so we're going to do the usual. Wait a little bit. Let people hop into the stream from the notifications and everything. And then go ahead and start calling some scammers here. But yeah, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Got a few bit of refund scammers today. So we're mainly going to be calling some refund scammers today. But welcome, everybody. Welcome everybody into the stream. What is up? How is everybody doing today? Keep the gaze. Agent leader, silver wind. ITPC guy, Reapy. Angus Vlad. B Will, broken. Gil Flores, Marina Andres, King Hopper. What is up, everybody? Well, uh, first time's catching your live. Oh, your first time catching live? Well, yo, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Probably going to wait like just a couple minutes here. Let people join in. Let me see if the, yeah, the Discord notification went out. Yeah, we're just going to give a couple minutes, let people join in. Some notifications and everything, and then we'll start here. Okay, I just give one click on it. Yo, Reapy with the gifted sub. Yo, thank you, man. Much appreciated, dude. But yeah, what is up, everybody? I've been on the TV. The TV. Am I on the TV right now? Yeah, and then repeat with the freaking hydrate. We'll give it like another minute or so here. Honestly, we're probably just gonna go straight into it, man. Yo, Eagle Strike with the freaking eleven month. For the 13 month resub, starting up a freaking hype train, man. Yo, you thank you, dude. Fucking, fucking you, black you, black you, black Join as a member. It'll be in the description of the stream. There's a link right there to join as a member on YouTube. Lurking, about to drive four hours. Four freaking hour drive, man. Oh, 
Okay, I just give one click on it. Yo, Bones with the freaking gifted sub, too. Yo, thank you, man. Much appreciated, dude. We already got a hype train going. Did you guys, uh, I don't know if anyone saw this, that, uh, Pirate Software guy got a level 100 hype train. Which is insane. I think that's, like, over a hundred thousand dollars or something. Okay. Worth of hype train. It's absolutely crazy, man. That happened, like, yesterday i think absolutely Hello. crazy yo is that another freaking thing here did i yo mimi chan with the freaking 100 bits and then master gaming with the 18 months yo thank you dude much love yo thank you dude much appreciated man I feel like I can't. I got Bones thing, right? Yeah, I got your thing. I was looking at the notifications and I couldn't tell if I actually got it or not. Or if there were, or if it was like a different one before that. Yeah, because I was like, oh, other gifted. Yeah, 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 I got it. Just have to make sure sometimes. Level 100, though, nah. <laughs> That'd be insane. Let's get those chodes. The Sir Chodington. Sir Chodington. Yeah, we got, what, what am I doing on a, we got that PCH going up on uh tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, that's like the first PCH call I've had, uh, shoot, in two, two months, yeah, two months. The first PCH that, that I've had uploaded uh, as a highlight in the last two freaking months, man. Absolutely crazy. So if you're trying to join as member, there's a a link in the bottom in the description of the stream. It says join as a member. But yeah, also we're uh, on the YouTube. We're uh, we're at nine hundred. We're at twenty nine thousand nine hundred sixty seven. It's seriously so freaking close to thirty k, man. Great mims video this week. Hell yeah, man! I got an even crazier one coming up next week. Finished, finished getting it all ready and stuff. That that will be coming out uh, this next week here, this upcoming week. So it's pretty crazy. It was like a 45, 50 minute video. Um, and this one's not even. I don't think this one was even a stream highlight. Um. Yeah, this this one wasn't even a stream highlight. So you guys, I, I don't even think I even said anything about this one. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, took it, got about 50 minutes of video down to 16 minutes or so. So it's really condensed, really, there's just something going on the entire time pretty much you know
It is not not mem not mem. Yeah, it's not mem. Don't see the link. So if you go on, if you're on YouTube, you go to the stream. It's right under the stream. So if we go here. This. So if you go to the Give stream, your skin what it's asking for. Shut the hell up. If you're on the stream. Right here. You scroll down. Right here. Become a member. This link here. And that's how you join as a member on YouTube. So it's going to be like this. Down right here. Boom. And then it's right there. And now we're seeing the stream twice. But that's basically how you do it. If your contact. Well, a lot of time the meals, uh, the scammer could be telling her that that's like prize money or something. Usually you just report it to the bank account and then the bank will freeze the account and do their own investigation on it uh, for fraud. And if they do find fraud, it'll, it'll actually get sent to the authorities. An endless loop. Yeah, we're 33, 33 subscribers away on freaking YouTube, man. They hit in that freaking mark. Pretty crazy. All right, so we've been going for how long? 15 minutes here. I think it's time we're going to call a scammer here. We're going to start off with uh, this Norton guy. See if he picks up. If he does... I don't know, I'll ask him why he's a bench head. Here we go. Hello, and thank you for calling. Get your device protected today at unbeatable prices. To speak uh, to the next available support specialist, please press one now. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Yes, yeah, play music. Pretty sure I've called these guys before because I recognize this. This hold music's the same hold music as the scammers that I called with the racist girl scammer. Support, my name is Vanessa. How may I help you? Hello. Yeah, hi. This is Vanessa. How may I help you? Yeah, I'm calling about, I got a thing here, about this Norton subscription. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to get this figured out. What? I can, I can barely hear you now. Yeah, you got something saying about Norton subscription? Yeah, that's right. Saying that I'm getting charged, uh, for okay, a, a renewal or something, but I didn't order nothing for no Norton thing. 
So that's a scam email. You can ignore it, sir. The scam email? Yeah. What? Is this going to the same people? She straight up said it's a scam email. I feel like this is going to that same call center with the racist girl scammer because they have the same hold music. I think, okay, so I think this isn't a refund scam. I think this is tech support. Hello, and thank you for calling. Get your device protected today at unbeatable prices. To speak to the next available support specialist, please press one now. Hello. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Yo, Rotondo with the freaking seven months. Thank you, dude. Hello? Yeah, hello. I was supposed yes, to sir. do a call back for a computer diagnosis. You are calling for the computer diagnosis? Yeah, for a virus issue. So what exactly the issue that you're facing today? Is they're telling me that it looks like the computer's probably got a virus on it. Okay, your computer is a laptop or a desktop? No, it's a desk computer. I see. And you are using a which version of the Windows are you running in the computer? Uh, I don't know. It's it's just a it's a HP. HP. All right. Uh, may I have your first and last name, please? Frank Simmons. Bigger pardon. Frank Simmons. Okay. And your email address? FSMS22 at gmail.com. And uh, do you have any registration of any antivirus? I don't think so. Okay, help me with your zip code. I said I don't think so. Your zip code? Can I have your zip code now oh. for the verification? 73301. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me just check the details. Okay. So I'm guessing this is a text, like a just a straight text. Are you up in front of your computer scan. right now? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to be giving you the instruction that will be helping you to get your computer connected to me first, remotely, so that I can, you know, check what exactly the problem you're actually facing there, okay? Sure. Okay, so look at the computer keyboard. Yeah. Press the Windows 4 flag button and the letter R, R as in Roger at the same time, okay? So wait. Can you explain it again? Sure. Can you open any of your browser, like Google Chrome or maybe Microsoft Edge or any oh, I browser? I got Google Chrome. Yes. You have to go to the website called www.support.me. M E. Okay. Su Support.me? Right. It's not like .com? No, it's not dot com. It's support dot me m e. Okay. Right. Now you can press enter and, and tell me what is up. coming up. What do you see there? Uh, support connection. Enter your six digit code. Then click start download sure, button I'm... below. Right. I'm gonna be giving you the six digit number, which you need to type it in. All right. Uh -huh. The code number will be one eight four. Okay. Two seven seven. Okay. All right. Now you can click on start download. Hello. Okay. Yo, Kimmy, with the freaking six months. Yo, thank you, dude.
Much appreciated. Now, once you click on start download, do you see there is a file came up downloaded by the name of support log mean rescue at the top yeah. right corner? Yeah. Okay. Now, next, beside the file, there is another option that says show in folder. Do you see there is a folder icon beside the file? A folder icon? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the file should be actually opening in the folder where you can actually execute by double click, but don't double click now. Tell me what do you see? What did you actually open in folder? It says downloads. You can uh, you can also double click on it. You can also double click on the file. Uh, the file name support log bean rescue. Okay. You can double click on it. Okay. Forgot I opened my stream without resetting the VM, so I gotta try and fill up my history. I'm gonna be giving you one option on the screen called OK and cancel. You have to just click on OK. Okay. Do you want to allow this app to make? Yes. Oh, okay. Now I says technician. Right. Chatting with Steven. Oh, he's already using a fake right. name. So there's one knock right there. I'm going to be sending you one option there called OK and cancel again. You have to just click on OK. Where is that? We'll get it shortly. OK. You having trouble with this computer or something? Just a minute, okay? Some. Uh, okay. Have you got any option there on the screen now? Uh, no option at all. Oh, okay, hold on for a minute. Okay. Something supposed to be coming out? No, actually there is an error. So I'm just you know rectifying the error. Hold on for oh. a minute. I think this is because of the virus. Okay. Give me a minute. Oh well, there's another knockoff. He hasn't even checked the computer for a virus. Now he's telling me that he's getting an error because of a virus. And just to think, for a second there, I thought maybe they might actually be legit tech support. And they're just one of the good guys. But no, it's always scammers. Always scammers. <laughs> oh, gosh. I wonder what his little error is. Is he just having, like, a bad internet connection? or? I mean, his phone quality sounds fine, so... I'm wondering what his little error is that, that's giving him a problem here. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so one of our supervisor, Matthew, Yo, will be with you know, taking the access, one, two, three, but he's going to be connecting to me. So you might bits. get one option Yo, that says you, OK man. or yes, something like that on the screen, okay? So give me a minute. Yeah, it says OK or cancel. Click on OK. Mm -hmm. All right. So now Matthew's here. Yo, Kimmy, thank you for the freaking bits, man. What do you mean purpose for this prank?
Well, so now that little chat thing went away. Uh, right, right. Here. The chat thing will be coming up. Oh, now I see it. Yeah. Technician. Oh, I see it says yes. Matthew. Matthew, yeah. Okay. Now they're already being nosy, not telling me anything and looking through my crap. Am I shutting them out of not this particular one now? Yeah, the base purpose is all is to waste time for scam baiting. Matthew is one of our supervisor. He's going to be connecting to me right now, okay? Okay. Does that mean I'm going to be talking to him or? No, no. You'll be talking to me. But oh. due to the server issues, the thing was not connected. Uh, this is normally does I would not like happen. To get a website I think from this is because guys. of the virus be that nice. you are talking about. The main reason you're calling for, I guess. Okay. That would be the reason it was not connecting directly. Okay. okay. Let me just check now. There he goes again saying another... Excuse for the virus. The virus is doing it. It's the virus, guys. I'm really curious what problem he's having with the software here. Okay, can you do one thing? Can you can you press the control button from your keyboard? The control and uh, the um, uh, the windows four flag button there's two button on the uh, keyboard you see the control and the four flag windows sure yeah okay okay now i think i got it okay hold on for a minute okay he was about to try and pivot to quick assist uh, oh now he just said a password okay. access now, uh, so he can, can get back into my computer exactly whenever he the wants position where you have seen the computer had got uh some kind of you know infected fire. well because i always keep getting all the these ads and stuff when i'm trying to go online and the guy mm -hmm. was saying it probably sounds like a virus issue and he had to do a diagnostic to see exactly what was happening so i don't know exactly what's sure. happening yet I will definitely check. I'm going to be oh, running a couple of scans to identify there what exactly go. the things are happening. Are you the only user of Verified this computer scammer. or somebody else uses this computer? No, I'm the only person that uses this computer. And apart from this computer, do you have any other computer in the home that you use sometime or anybody use? Uh, no, it's the, the only one I got. There's the only one you have, okay. You no, know, there's no other piece in the house. Which is connected to the same internet, same no, network. That's the only one I got. I just told him I only it's the only tablet, one I got. Any tablet, any iPad, uh, mobile phone, which could be connected to the internet, I guess. Ah, uh, no, I don't have any tablet. Oh, okay, all right. Now you have some kind of security concern on this particular PC. Is he even gonna click and on your it? Wi-Fi has some kind of issues. That is exactly the reason the computer is getting affected. I can see there are some. What's going on with the Wi-Fi? The In your Wi-Fi, you it's are not even connected to Wi-Fi. Files from the Wi-Fi, so those are the. There you can are see right there. Portal, it's not even connected to the Wi-Fi. Where the you know infected files are coming up. So firewall okay. is something that can actually fix that issue, but you do not have any stronger firewall here on the system. That is why the things are actually There's happening. There's no firewall. What is the firewall? Firewall. Do? Firewall, Windows yeah. has a built-in firewall. <laughs> okay. What does the and firewall you were do? You were the firewall, uh, it's it's basically create a wall to you know prevent all the inbound signal which is not approved or authorized by you will be actually blocked. So that is actually okay. called a firewall. Firewall is actually part of the security, help you to block all the unwanted things coming up on your system. Okay. Okay. And I don't have one of those? No, nothing. I'm not, oh, nothing. At this point of time, you have no security installed. Your internal no security, Windows security when Windows is Defenders also not right there. to be working fine. It has some kind of errors. So there okay. is no security which you got it 
on your system. But not to worry, I'll be helping you to get the security installation done on your system. Basically, yeah. what browser that you use? I Which usually use like Google use? Chrome. Google Chrome, okay. Have you recently downloaded something from the system, from the Wi-Fi or uh, anything? I that downloaded you... that thing you told me to download. No, apart from that, before that, have you have you downloaded something else? Uh, I don't think so. Any software? Did you did you try to download any kind of software or security today? The only thing I downloaded today, today was the thing you last, had me. Last seven to eight days. I don't believe so. I've been mainly just going online. Okay. Now looks yeah. like to me your computer has got downloaded a lot of you know infected files actually. Maybe it is coming up from the behind of the screen, which is called the back door. These are the infected what? files are coming from the different Fine. different uh, sources of internet behind okay. the screen what and does that are... mean uh, maybe it is actually not coming up on your screen but uh, there are something called backdoor okay so that IP addresses and everything is actually involved in it so these are the you know infected errors that I can see okay. all these warning coming behind up behind the screen oh. and if you look at the uh, time and the date you will see there are different different date and times are actually involved these like 4th of thing? March yeah, the warning and the error. Okay. There's a lot of them. A lot of like them, There's yeah. a lot. So what does all is of right. this stuff here mean here? These are the error indicating that some point of time your computer had some kind of issues, okay? Some point of time your computer had some kind of error. Uh, it could be related to some kind of virus or some other issues, which What's is actually creating one? some logs. Critical? Critical, yeah. So it, it is. It means uh, you have some kind of issues, technically some kind of issues on your system. So these are the uh, not good things for the system. Literally but yes, we can actually right rectify there. all the problem and repair. So does your this system. mean the computer is okay. like broken or something, and I have to fix it, or what does this mean? Yeah, exactly. You have to fix that. We can fix that for you. Okay. Okay. And what does this mean for the computer, for like my pictures and stuff? Right. It is actually the broken things. We have to do the proper diagnostic and repair the computer and your browser is actually not in a good condition. Your browser has all kind of, you know, <coughs> cookies and the cache, which is also has to be rectified. What? Few of your driver. Okay, so he's going to just go. Few for of it. your Let's drivers are actually enough. not in a working condition. So these are the okay. driver has to be rectified as well. We will go ahead and, you know, update this driver. So ap apart from oh, this computer, there is no other computer to see where you VMware can right the there. security, right? Wait, okay, you're sorry, you're going really fast. I'm trying to understand everything here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm saying apart from this computer, there is no other computer you are saying that you are actually required to install any security, right? No, it's this the, is the only, only computer, computer I have. have. Tablet. How many fucking times is okay. he going to ask me? Now, these are the driver which I'm just identifying here. You can see, right? These are the stop driver. It means they are actually stopped, not working. But we have to just go out and, you know, update those driver and help you to, you know, uh, get those uh, driver up and running again. We will do that for you, okay? Okay. So, basically, at this point of time, as because there is no security installed, that is why... Uh, the problem actually started since last one or two months, okay? It's so been going thing, on be for two months? Yeah, one and one or two months. Oh my gosh. Okay, and what does that mean for, like, my, my pictures and stuff? Pictures are not going to be affected. It could be affected if you have some kind of ransomware. Ransomware basically corrupting the picture data documents, but the problem is this kind of infected files could be mainly focusing on the banking, you know, shopping details, ID, password. They can actually you know, steal the data and the information that you have. Banking if you do banking details? online, banking details, you know, infected uh, files can be affecting and corrupting your information that you have, corrupting the files on the computer and stealing the data like credit oh card gosh. and all, all other things as well. 
I've done, yeah, I've done banking. Yeah, no, no, not a problem. I can give you the security, right? We have the security called Norton 360 Relax. 360 security, which you can install, will be helping you and coming up with the all security plan like virus protection, malware protection, you know, banking coverage and the and web well. monitoring. You know, all kind of features are going to be there under the 360 protection plan. And along with that, we are going to do the cleanup and optimization. Cleanup will be there. The optimization will be there. Okay. All okay. the work will be done by the technician. We will also update the driver of your system. That all this work will be what done by driver? the technician. The plan are going to be given you for one year. The one year, the one time charges will be involved. That is only $99.99. And the security is something I would recommend you to go for the long time. I can give you the three year security plan. For the three years, you can spend only $349.99. Huh. Okay. Only $349. Generally, the cost for one year is $149. Okay. okay. In general, I'm telling you, yeah, $149.99 is the one year cost per year. Okay. However, as because if you're getting if you're getting it for three years, in that case the price are going to be cheaper. It is going to be only three forty nine, not on three not on three. That reminds me of like a coverage. shitty car salesman. Okay. Now this security will be coming up with all the features, and along with that you'll be getting the VPN plus firewall. You oh, remember I was talking VPN. about the firewall that will okay. be also there in these features. So this complete three year of antivirus program, which is going to be good till. April. Remember, guys, go buy your Norton. Till 2027, there will be no YouTube auto renewal or nothing. Protects Even in 2027, everything. month of April, you will not get the auto renewal. You will be getting an email from us directly where you can actually uh, acknowledge the email to confirm that you are actually renewing again. That's actually so that crazy. Is Three years is 27. You are going to get the discount. <laughs> oh, so As you can quick. understand, you are also already saving some money. Uh, 349 is not the price. The price is 449 okay. for three years. So I'm giving you the discount of $100 because we are actually giving you the discount coupon code will be used. Okay. So it's $100 so, off? $100 will be off. Yeah. Okay. So 349 will be total price of uh, till good till 2027. You can be all protected and all secure. Okay. So few okay. details will be required from your end to type like your name, your email and your um, address you have to type these details and let me tell you the cleanup and optimization will be done okay. by us that will be taking about 20 to 25 minutes i believe you have that time right yeah i got i got that time that's pretty quick i'd say yeah. right yeah at 20 to 25 minutes will be the working time i mean the technician when the technician will start the work the working time will be taking about 20 to 25 minutes so you have to type few details like your first name, last name, email, and the you know billing address. Okay, I just put it here. Yeah, you can type it in. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. I I got my name there. Okay, Yo, Master Mick with the 500 address. bits. Thank you, man. Email address. Yes. Okay. And type your billing address here. My home address? Yes, your billing address. Okay. Do I need to put the zip code again, or because I did give, I think yeah, I gave you, or you want me to put it yeah, again? Yeah, you can here. put it in. Yeah, put it again because we have to fill up the form completely. Okay. All right. 
Now give me a minute, okay? There's still bits Should I be heart. using this phone number? 512-8851. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. All right. So give me a minute. I'm. I typed already. You deleted already. Yeah. Hold on for a minute. I'm. Fucking moron. Don't don't. Now I have to fucking yeah, get rid of this number. number. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So uh, let me open the form and I'm just filling up the nice form. This is a discount coupon code form will be filled up here. Okay. So I'm just filling up all the details. Let me uh, let me know. Do you have a middle name, Frank? No, a I don't card? have a middle name. Any... Yeah, master make with okay. the 300 So you do not have now. any middle name on the card as well, like the card you're going to be using right no, now? No, I just said I don't have a middle name. Okay. Do you have any alternate number apart from this number? No. Okay. In case the technician, you know, uh, the technician will be taking th half an hour to complete the work, like I said earlier. He will give you a call back once the work is done. So this number will be good. You can actually answer this phone, right? Anytime. Uh huh. Okay. That's so annoying. I've had this number primed for months now. And I'm going to have to dump it because I know people are going to fucking troll and try and spam it. Okay, so you can type the card number here. I guess I can show it. I mean, it's already been fucking exposed. So I type the number here. Yes, you can. Is type there the like a website number? or something with all the plans that I'm able to see? Yes, you will see on the website as well. Once the plan is be will be added can by I see our the technician, website? you will see it on. Yeah, it's a Norton.com. You will see no, not now. First of all, we are going to give you the promo code form discount, and then it will be applied from our end, and it will be all added to your site as well. So oh, you it's will just Norton.com. Norton.com. Yes. You will get to see under Norton.com, you will be created one ID and the password where you can log in and see your product. You can see your product anytime, okay? Okay. Um, shoot. Right. I, okay, I just had, I have a question. Sure. So, you said there's no uh, antivirus on here either with this thing? No. No. So... If I click on this and I dismiss this OneDrive setup here, can you mm -hmm. tell me why it says no, is... no action needed virus and threat protection with a green check mark here and it says that there was a scan done at 8.23 a.m. just about an hour yeah, ago and that Windows. there's zero threats found? This is not the Windows. This is a Windows protection, internal protection. It yeah, you not, said there was no enough. protection. Yeah, there is no antivirus. I know there is no antivirus installed. And then on I have system. another question. If I go here and I go to Windows mm -hmm. Defender Firewall with Advanced Security, can you tell me why it says mm -hmm. that the firewall is on and that there is a firewall here and there's inbound and outbound rules that you can see right here? If like yeah, this is a you know internal one. That is actually not the firewall that we basically rely on. Okay. What do you we mean? Do you said that the there Windows was no firewall. firewall. No firewall in the sense of there is no firewall from the Norton security, not f no firewall from us, okay? So we it has to be Norton from Norton firewall. to work? Yeah, the Norton security, that is what we provide, right? So that there is no okay, firewall now, okay, installed from Norton. Okay, I have another question then. If I go here and I go to this critical warning, why does it say mm -hmm. kernel power? The system has rebooted without cleanly shutting down first. So this just means right, that so, the system got shut down by like holding the power button. How does this mean that there's a no, virus on the computer? It doesn't say anything about a virus. Yeah, it, it, uh, sometimes it shut down because of the viruses as, as well. Sometimes it gets restarted.
So it is all the log has too. been created. The previous to... system shutdown was unexpected. The same thing. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, it is unexpected. So, so it means there are some virus. issues on the system. No, it, it will not mention the virus because it will be actually the error, what exactly happened to your system, you know, the uh, action, what comes in, right? So what exactly the reason behind it, it will never be known. the license here, right? activation error for, for right. the Windows license so it, activation. It, it, yeah, it also get modified sometimes because of the virus sometimes, okay? So, so all of these exactly got the, changed by the virus? Is that what you're saying? It could yeah, yes, yes. It could be by the okay. some kind of malware and the virus the computer gets and, shut um, down and all these activities happen sometimes. This command you hear did here. This mm -hmm. this just lists all the, the directories and files on the system. Right. I can type tree and yeah. do the same thing. And it just looks cooler. Yeah, so can you tell me how this you... is scanning the computer when it's just listing everything that's on the system? It's not actually scanning anything? No, it is not. It is not. It is scanning, actually. It is scanning and giving you the information, all the folders you have. According to that, you can understand whether you have, you know, any kind of infected okay, files. Can you explain me how to understand this? How do I understand if there's an infected file? How would you read this? See, you have... You have these, you know, the direct. <laughs> he just hung up on me. Yeah, and he disconnected it. Okay. That's how I used to expose them all the time. Man. They never know what to say. Uh, let me dump this fucking number really quick, man. Before I call them back. Yo, Master Mick with the 200 bits. Yo, thank you, man. Give me a second, guys. Cause I know somebody's probably sitting in the chat just waiting to fucking troll. I'm actually curious. I wonder if what happens if I dump the number while I'm on a call with him. I'm gonna call back. No, not every call is a file deletion. I'm on hold. Thank you for calling support. How can I help you today? Hello? Yes, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. I'm calling to ask why you guys are providing, um, oh, he hung up on me. Hello, and thank you for calling. Get your device protected today at unbeatable prices. To speak to the next available support specialist. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Bob, how can I assist you? Hello, can I ask you why you're scamming people with fake tech support? Sorry? Why are you what scamming you people out of India with fake tech support? You must be dialing a wrong number. Thank you. No, I'm Good dialing time. the Indian man pretending to be tech support. He hung up on me. Oh, I'm blocked now. I think I'm blocked. Yeah, I'm blocked. All right, let me waste this number. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but numbers get leaked like this I have to get rid of them because people will just uh, spam it send random text messages and shit I've had it happen before and now let me reload this
So we'll be down a number on the rest of this stream. But yeah, man, that fucking scammer, dude. I fucking. I muted his fucking microphone. I muted his voice. Because I was like, oh, great. This fucking moron. He's just saying the fucking Hello. thing. And then. He fucking. Uh, I look on the screen and he just has it on the fucking screen, dude. I was like, are you fucking serious, man? What the hell's wrong with you? Fucking scammers, dude. It's this these fucking Indian scammers, man. It's like they repeat everything, dude. They're so fucking annoying to speak to, man. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me call them back with this number then. Because they don't even know this number, so. I'll call them on this one. Yeah, it was funny. Last time I got it, the fucking thing leaked. I get this message from somebody, and it's like, oh, I've been watching you for years, and I, I love your channel, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And, and they were saying another fucking YouTube channel's name, and I was like, that's not even me, dude. But thanks for reminding me, thanks for telling me that I need to dump this number now. With your random text message. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Bro, like, imagine sitting through one of my videos, catching a, like, the ti a tiny part where my number gets leaked, and then not even realizing that you're messaging about a totally different channel that's not even me. I was like, holy shit, dude. Hello, and thank you for calling. Get your device protected today at unbeatable prices. Yo, to Frazier with the, the five available months. Support thank you, man. Specialist, please press one now. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Thank you for calling support. You're talking with James. How may I assist you? Yeah, hello. I'm calling to talk to the Indian scammers. How are you doing, Indian you scammer? Another number. But you're an Indian scammer. <laughs> oh, they don't even want to speak to me, man. Hello, and thank you for calling. Get your device protected today at un... Thank Just you for press. calling. Your call is very important to us, and yeah. will be answered in the order. So you can press run right when my call starts. Thank you for calling support. How can I help you? Yes, is this the Benchode scammer? How are you, Benchode? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're just hanging up on me. I think I'm going to just TSU these guys. And I have this, this here. I'll just delete all this. I always like putting these on the the post on the on the post on TSU because I think it's just funny. But I think you guys can probably figure out what I'm about to do. Yeah, they don't even want to talk to me. So, Norton three sixty tech support. Oh, yeah, they gave me their refund form. There we go. It's funny how he just hung up like that, too. He didn't even, uh, like, he, he tried to say, oh, no, sir, it's this, that, and this. So this is these are the type of scammers that they just never want to uh, admit that they're scams, that they're, that they're scammers. They just never want to admit that they're scammers. Let me put this here. Okay, 
me a second, y'all. You guys want me to chicken them? Is that what y'all are having having me do right here? Are we getting chickens in the chat, man? All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a BRB. I'm gonna do a BRB really quick. And then when I get back, um, I haven't posted on TSU yet. So when I get back, we'll chicken them and then put it on uh, TSU. So I'll BRB super, super quick, y'all. All right, we're back. And I got I got another number too that I haven't called them from. So, all right, y'all y'all know the drill, man. Y'all know the drill, man. Chickens in the chat. Let's get some chickens in the chat going. Um. Call these guys on a on another number here that I haven't called them from before yet. Oh man, that's so annoying though <laughs> that I had to dump that number. All right, chickens in the chat, man. Chickens in the chat. Massive, massive headphone warning. We're gonna do this one from the cave, and I'm sure all these guys are wearing freaking headsets. So that will be nice. That will be nice. All right, here we go, guys. Massive, massive headphone warning. Massive headphone warning. Oh, no. Wait, did they shut off their number? Bruh. I think they shut off their number. No way. Hold on, let me try. Did they shut off their number? Hello, in this Oh, okay. Massive headphone warning. We're still on it, we're still on it. Massive headphone warning. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Thank you for calling support. My name is... <laughs> She's gone. Oh, it was the girl scammer that I got at the beginning. She was like, well, actually... The call, the, that email is a scam. That is, that email is a scam. So I'm going to tell you that email is a scam while I go and scam all the other people while be pretending to be tech support. All right. Y'all know the drill, man. 
right there on the bottom of the screen, TexCamerasUnited.com. If you're on Twitch, you can type exclamation mark TSU in the chat for the link. Uh, it's the Norton 360 tech support, and I got all the information right there. It's the top post up on the form there, the most recent post. So check it out, man. Remember, if you do call them, don't use your personal phone number. Use a service like TextNow, Pocketone, Google Voice, or Skype phone numbers uh, so you don't get a bunch of Ben Jodes calling you back going, Hello, what are you doing? Asking for tech support. You know what I mean? Lord and Savior Billy. Billy the Chicken. Any PCH day? Uh, probably not. I don't have any. And I don't think I'm going to call any. No. Is this totally done? Sorry, I'll have to take a second there. Holy crap, we got a bunch of people on TSU, man. Let's go. Look at all those accounts popping up, man. Look at all those freaking accounts popping up, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Chappie, how's it going? Anybody getting through? Anybody getting them on the phone? You got any success stories in here? What do we got? What do we got? Any chodes on the line? Nobody. Market the ball washers to them since they stink so bad. I don't even know if they would use them if they if we gave it to them for free, man. I mean, shit. Look at the street food, man. <laughs> it ain't good. I'm guessing nobody's has nobody been able to get through. You're getting through. Can't ring in the UK. Remember, they do block kind of quick, y'all. I see some people saying that the number's down, but they I'm guessing they're probably blocking people now. Because these guys blocked uh, three of my numbers. Kind of quick. Let me mark this one off as TSU. TSU. TSU, man. So who was I? Oh, these guys. Good thing. Um, not these guys. So now we're gonna do a pop-up scammer, man. Let me reset this virtual machine here. 
got the girl scammer, the freaking girl chode. After fun back and forth about two minutes. Oh, they didn't they didn't even want to argue with me at all when I was talking to them. The street food like in India? Uh let's go and look it up on TikTok. There's probably YouTube videos about it too. They block everyone but the victims, the Ben Chodes. Yeah, but now there's so many people calling them. The hope is when you put it on TSU, even if they don't, the hope generally is when you put it, when I put it on TSU is to get the number shut, is for them to shut down the number. So then, you know, once the number gets shut down, they have to resend out all their text messages or emails and stuff. And then if a scammer is like, if you already got one email, you know, of something like that, tons of people are going to market it as spam. That's the first thing. And then if they send out a second email, chances are it's probably going to get detected as spam now because people are probably already marketing as spam. And then even if it does go through, you get two text messages in a row like that. You know, the first time you called, they didn't pick up. It was going to something. And then now you're getting another text message telling you to call a different phone number. You know? Makes people, I, I would, I think, a bit more suspicious. You know, like, huh, what's what's actually going on here? Why is this, uh, why am I getting the same thing, but now it's a totally different phone number? That doesn't make sense. And then, if they don't end up shutting down their phone number, it just makes them really paranoid. Because, you know, all of a sudden they get like, how many people we got here? We got 142 people on YouTube. And we got 235 people on Twitch. If just like 100 people called, you know, imagine you're sitting there and you're getting phone calls from 100 different people, leaving voice, voicemails, all sorts of stuff of people yelling Ben Chode and saying you're a scammer and all this stuff. You're going to be really suspicious of other people that call. So then the hope is that well, the number's posted on TSU, so they're going to keep getting calls. And then on top of that, when normal scam victims call in, they're like, they don't know. They're really sus. They don't know, oh, maybe it's somebody trolling again. Maybe it's an actual scam victim. You know, something, something like that, you know. So that's pretty much the idea behind it posting the number and getting everybody to call it and spam the crap out of it. That's that's essentially what what I go for right there. But now we have a pop-up scammer. Oh, my phone, phone software's disconnected. Gosh damn it. All right, we'll have to wait a second before I can call them while this reconnects. Yo, Woody, welcome to the stream, man. But yeah, that's essentially what we do here. What we're doing there. Yeah, the U the UPS package text message scams. Blocked now. Best way to call flood dozens upon dozens. Yeah, and it's actually real too. <laughs> so yeah, it's the best way to do it, man. And then we got we got everybody freaking calling in, scam uh, scam baiting. And then now that it's on TSU, the number is going to show up on Google. So if people go and search the phone number on Google, they'll be like, "Oh, why does this say scammer?" Why does this say scam? They're talking to the guy and they're like, hey, I looked at your phone number on Google, man. It says you're a scammer, dude. So, yeah. You got one about a speeding ticket? They tried to scam you with a speeding ticket? Interesting. Thumbs up. Drop a thumbs up. How close are we, man, to the 30K? 
Let me see. We're at 972. If you guys aren't on the YouTube channel, on the second channel, man, or if you're watching on the YouTube stream and you're not subscribed, man, hit the subscribe button. We're so close to 30K. I'm going to drop this in the, in the Twitch chat. If you guys aren't on the second channel, man, don't worry. It's all free, dude. That's the thing. Everything I do, it's fucking free, man. Yeah, the video's got ads. But we're not charging you 500 bucks for a membership. It's completely free. So if you guys want to check it out, man, tons of highlights go up on that channel. All the archives of the stream goes up on that channel. Tons and tons of content, over 200 videos on that channel alone. And then I have like 600 or 700 on my main channel. So if you guys want to check it out, revolts on freaking YouTube, man. Check it out. Check it out. We're so close to 30K. I feel like this, this 30K has been a fucking fight to get to, man. It's been crazy. Tutorial on how to scam bait. Uh, if you're interested in learning about scam baiting, if you go to the link right at the bottom of the screen there, techscammersunited.com. Uh, there's a scam bait guide right there. It's the life raft in the top of the web page. If you click on that, it'll bring you to the scam bait guide. But I feel like we've been uh, fighting for this 30k, man. Like we hit, we hit 20k, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20. Like it went like pretty much every month we were hitting a thousand milestone, and then once it came to 29. You know, when we are inching to that 30K, it's just like, it's, it feels like it's taking forever now, you know? But all right, let's see if these guys pick up here. So the next people we're going to call here is this pop-up scam. Um, this one is a Windows Defender. It's a pretty much copy-paste pop-up scam. Uh, yeah. YouTube needs to send the play buttons. I'm never getting those. <laughs> yeah, I'm never getting those. I got denied for the 100K one. And then I got denied for the million one. And they essentially said because my content was like too edgy. You know, so yeah, I'm, I'm never getting those. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it maybe if Twitch wants to give me something, but I doubt Twitch would give me anything since they denied my partnership request on twitch too. <laughs> i don't know man yeah I, I i i've already like i've i've written that off i don't i don't get my hopes up for that anymore it'd be nice you know i've been i've been doing youtube uh i started my first youtube video i uploaded in like 2012 so and then i've been scam baiting on youtube since 2016 so uh, it'd be nice. I'm not even going to lie. It'd be really nice, but I just don't see it happening. All right. Let's see if these guys pick up. Thank you for calling support. My name is Larry. How may I help you today? Hello? You're really quiet. Yes, thank you for calling. I can like barely hear you. This is thank you for calling support. My name is Larry. Speak up, I can barely hear you. Okay, we're going to hang up and try for another show. And I swear, you always tell these guys, you tell them, hey, I can't hear you, you got to speak up. And they just repeat the same thing again. These guys are so fucking stupid. Join the army. You will join as a member on the YouTube, man. Get some emojis. Your call is... I was actually thinking of enabling membership on the main channel too, uh, for for having the videos early for people that don't want to use Patreon. 
How can I help you today? Hello? Hello, yes sir. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm, I'm calling. I got a thing on my computer saying that my access to my computer has been blocked. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, your computer has been logged that you were going online and your computer has been logged now, right? Yeah, it's saying that access to my computer has been blocked. And I'm trying to see what's going on here. Your computer... Okay. Could you tell me, like, what were you doing when your computer got logged up? Uh, I was just trying to go and check uh, online and see the news. And then all of a sudden this thing comes up uh, saying that access to my computer has been blocked. Saying PC's been blocked for security reasons. It's got, like, an error code here, too. Okay. Okay. Just give me one moment, okay? Sure. Okay, so what exactly you see there, sir? On your screen, please tell me again what exactly you see. Has my phone call get transferred? Okay, uh, sir, yes, because... No, I don't was, go to that uh, event. The pop-up issue that you have, that your computer uh, is having some the screen that you cannot close it's blocking your screen so that's yeah, why i will help you now okay. my name so is I've gary been, okay mm -hmm. yeah because it's telling me firewall or access mm -hmm. to this pc has been blocked for security reasons firewall okay all right so i will definitely check it let me ask you a few questions before i go proceed there uh how sure. old this computer is sir um, this one is actually pretty new. I got it last year. I think it's only like six months last old or year. something. Okay. It's not very old at all. It's pretty new. That's good, sir. That's good. Why well, I'm asking you, because if it is just a new computer, it's uh -huh. under warranty, so that even you don't need to pay anything to get it fixed. But that's very good. So okay. this has a warranty and, on uh, it? What exactly? Yes, definitely. So when you get the new computer, no matter what computer you have, like yeah. HP computer or Dell computer, you are getting a Windows computer. So that window, that means Windows 10 or Windows 11, when you get it installed, the new one, it's under warranty for next five years. So whatever okay. problem you have, the Windows, uh, Windows support, Windows technicians are going to fix it. If any computer uh, problem is there, we are going to fix it without any cost for next five years. And even uh -huh. you have the services like this that you can call us once in a month and get it optimized without any extra payment. So that kind of services you are having with us. Okay, now let me ask you a few questions, sir. Please let no, me know your first that. and last name. I, very so, which, to proceed there. so I have to pay for a once a month thing? or which, I thought you said I had a warranty. No. no, I said when you buy it, the new computer, when you purchase it, you already paid for the windows the payment was included in that the new computer oh, box. when i bought it so you don't need to pay yeah so you don't okay. need to pay anything it will be uh, under warranty for the next 5 years and you can you need to call us once in a month that is a part of service that we always let all the customers know when you buy the computer you can get it optimized every month without any extra payment to it. Dude, so on. let me proceed so let me understand what exactly goated, the uh, message you are getting by the firewall so uh, what exactly you yeah. were uh, uh, opening, what exactly the website you were on when you got this message? Uh, I was just trying to go online and check the news. That's really it. I would like literally just got on a computer, and I was just trying to see what was going on in the okay. news. So I went on uh, I went to Google, and then I went to try and go to the news. Mm -hmm. And I go to go to it, so and you, then when I click on it, I get this thing here telling me that now I guess I'm blocked from watching the news or something. Okay, please help me with a few details, sir. Yeah. Do you, do you use, uh, do you read news in, in Google or Microsoft Edge? On Google. I always, I always go on, uh, I always go on, go on Google. Okay, all right, that's good. Okay, so please yeah. let me know your first and last name. Frank Simmons. Okay, it's Mike, M-I-K-E. 
Please put out your last name, sir. Wait, what did you get for the first name? How did you get um, Mike? Is it Mike? M I K? Yes, it's Mike. Okay. Mike Mathers. And, uh, okay, all right, Mike. We'll just go with it. All right, sir. So let me help you with that now. Look at the keyboard. <laughs> I will first we'll just go with how to it. close it because it's a oh, pop gosh. up. And did you try to close it? Did you see any tab that on Red Cross? Uh -huh. Did you try to close it there? Uh, no, I haven't tried to close it. Because it's telling me, it, it, it says that my P, it says PC infected with Trojan type spyware. And then it's got like an error code here. That's why I was, I don't know if I need to give you that or not. Or what I'm supposed to do with this error code. Uh, I will just help you with that. So no, don't need to give me the error code. But you, uh, you said that it's a Trojan that you got. It says, to computer, right? Well, it says right here, Windows Defender Security Center, Microsoft windows firewaller pc infected with trojan type spyware uh then it has that error code and then under that it says access to this pc has been blocked for security reasons that's what i got here okay please provide me the all right mike please provide me the error code uh it's 2v 7h g t v b and it's all capitalized, too. That's the thing. It's all capitalized. Okay. Okay. All right. I got it now. Okay. Let me help you with that, sir. Uh, now look at the keyboard. On your keyboard, on the left bottom corner, you have control. C-T-R-L. Control, right? Um, on the keyboard? Yeah. You look at keyboard right left bottom corner of your keyboard yeah yeah i do control okay and very good just next to control uh there should be oh a l t just third or fourth key there should a -L -T. be a l t alt right yeah i see a l t you have it there alt you said alt right uh, yes. Now okay. let me tell you what exactly you need to do, sir. You need to press three keys together. Like I lost my voice. That's for Control, there. Alt, and Delete. You need to alt. press all that three keys simultaneously. Control, Alt, and Delete. And Delete. At the same time? Right. Like I press all of them together, or how do I do this? Yes, all of them together simultaneously. So control, alt, delete. Control, alt, right. Delete. Okay. Right. Oh wow! Something just changed on it. Do I? Call, how long do I hold these for? I'm still holding them. How long do I hold just these for? Just few seconds. Just few. Just press and release. Just. Can I let go of them now? Them. I'm still holding them. Oh no! Release the keys. Let go. You need to okay. Release the keys. All right. I let go. Now what? Uh -huh. is, mm -hmm. Well, now the whole screen has went black, and there's like a couple of there's like I guess a menu in the middle of it or something. Okay. There. Very good. Uh, very good. So you got it. That we were yeah. looking for. So do you see a task manager on that options? Do you see task manager? Task manager. Yeah, I do, actually. Okay, please click on Task Manager, sir. Task Manager. Oh, something just came up here. Okay, all right. So now what we need to do, sir, uh, what, we, uh, what we need to do, do you have uh, your client ID there? My what? The Windows client ID, do you have that? I have no client idea what ID. that is. No problem. We can generate, and we need to just connect, or we uh, we need to just connect with the computer to find it. Okay, you can My generate ID. it yourself. After that, so we need to have get connected and check like what exactly maybe? the problem and how it comes to your computer, and we will fix it. Yes. So, uh, you need to look at the window that you just got open, the task manager. 
what options you see on it? Is it like file or what exactly the options you have? Uh, there's a lot of stuff. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, on the top. I don't understand it. On the of top of that. Okay. I Look at the, the top. top. Do you says, see any option like run? It says type the name, uh, type the name, publisher, or PID to search. That's what it says at the very top. Okay. And what exactly do you see there? Do you see on that task manager, run a new task? Do you see that? Run new task. On the top of the... Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, very good. Very good. Please click on that. You need to click on that. Run new task. Okay. Yeah, you need to just click on that. Oh, my gosh. Very it's good. The run box. And after that, you will get a new box open in front of you. That yeah. will be uh, a box. You can type anything like inside that, right? Yes. Just type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will yes. open it for you. Yes, very good. You got it. You need to okay. type inside that box, www. www. Dot. Fix. F I X fix. Fix. F I X. M E M like Mike. Uh, M like Michael. E like Echo. Fix me. M E. Dot I T. I like Indiana. T like Tango. Dot IT. Right. And all these are one word, no gap between the words. No space. Yes. At all. So please give it back to me before we proceed. What did you type uh, there? Okay. I got www dot uh, f i x m e dot i t. Is that right? Well, yes, that's right. And no gaps between the words. Now sure. you need to press OK. You need to click on OK. Click on OK. All right. All right. And it will be opening a new page where you can see it starts. What the hell is the this? Session. Within three seconds, it will Why is there so here. many remote support softwares? Is anybody out there who's thinking of starting a remote support software company? Don't do it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I see now it looks like a website opened up. Like, there's no do need you, for all these fucking the, remote support software. I mean, box, shit, ConnectWise Control session. just had that thing where, like, people were getting... Didn't they have that thing where people were using it and getting medical records and shit? Okay, yeah, it says exactly start so support session. Okay, very good. You're on the right way. I appreciate you, sir. You're doing it very right. Windows. Okay. You need, you need to click on a start support session. Please click on a start support session. Start support session. Okay. And then you will... Okay, within few seconds, you will see a file is downloaded on a right top corner. A new file will be there. Fix me yeah. at client.exe. Do you see that? Fix me at client. Yeah, there's like a space between the two, and then it says dot exe, right? Uh, it, 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 don't, it don't matter. So okay. you need to double left click on that file that exe client file you need to open it double left click on it okay uh. all right and it will be asking you do you want to allow yeah, loading okay starting application 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, as is it, this is the new computer, just a six month old computer. But as I observe, it's working a little slow. I should not be working this slow. Oh, I will just check for that. So once you get the map. Yes, normally that file don't take that long. It's just a one click and one second okay. that it takes. So once you get any option, like do you want to allow, you need to hit yes. Then you will get your client ID on your screen that you need to give it to me. Yeah, I see it says client ID. Is that okay. what I gave you? Give me that number, sir. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, it says. Yeah, no, it's six. There's no three. Yeah, there's no three. ASMR, I know. People have told me to do that, dude. Maybe I should start. Should I start an ASMR fucking YouTube channel, man? Oh, now I see there's like a, a chat box. Uh, just give me a moment, sir. Let me see. Oh, it went away. Okay, I will just check it, sir. I'm getting connected with your screen now so that I can see what exactly the oh. message you got. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, just give me a moment. Yeah. Did he just close the pop up? Okay. What do you do? You tell me. Pop up's down there. Is he gonna open a pop up? Open a pop up, you freaking loser! Click on it, damn it! Oh my! Hello, man. He closed it. Oh no, I didn't close it. It's right here. Why is he not letting me click on it? Wait, is it broken? What the hell? It's broken. So what do you think's wrong with that? Uh, I'm just broken. Observing, so I'm just. I need to do some scans uh, to just check what exactly the website you were on when you got it, and even the computer yeah, is a little on. slow, so it's taking some time. Yeah, uh, I'm scanning it, sir. Just well, I got the computer. It's only like six months old. Is it really that slow? Is that like a bad thing uh, for it, yes, or? Sir. No, it could be a few things, sir. I need to check the history because normally uh, the yeah. new computer is not working that slow for the next few years. Okay. So Can I, I have this call be checking it for unintentional the ASMR? Just give me a few, few seconds. Indian say. tech support. <laughs> would this? Do you guys think this call would count as ASMR, or have I yelled too much? Or have I been too loud? What do you guys think? I don't know what he did to the Google Chrome, man. It's like he's... Oh, it's all the way down here. It's under the taskbar. That's why. It's, it's all the way down. Like, look, when he clicks on it. It's like all the way off the screen. He dragged it off the screen. You moron. Okay, uh, please leave the mouse. So let me have the control. Uh -oh. Please leave your mouse. Okay. Yeah, let me, yeah, I, let me check that. He dragged it all the way off the screen, damn it. An ASMR filter. The hell's an ASMR filter? No, I'm not. T I'm talking about this call. Yeah, not the last call. I'm talking about this call. Because I know, yeah, we chickened before. I mean, like, this specific call that we're on now. Dude, he can't figure it out, man. Can he open a new Google Chrome? Oh, look, it's right there. There it is. Yes, and in I mean. between, I'm scanning it, too. Uh, yeah. Let me ask you a few more questions. It's important. 
Yeah. Uh, this is your personal computer, right? Yeah, it's my personal computer. Okay. There, I opened All it right. for him. And uh, what exactly the use of this computer Important security is? message. Like, uh, is it oh, any your computer has been locked out. Your like talking now. Your IP address was used without your knowledge Can or you consent hear that? to visit websites Look, sir, that listen. contains identity theft virus. To unlock oh, the computer, okay. please call Can support immediately. Can you hear immediately. that? Please do not attempt to shut down yeah. or restart oh my gosh, your computer. It's so loud. Doing you that don't may want... lead to data loss and identity theft. Can I computer turn lock is aimed to stop the illegal down. activity. Jeez, it's so loud. Please call our support I immediately. I will, I will do that. Important do that. security that. message. Can I turn my volume down? There we go. It was so loud, sir. That was so loud. It's telling me. I'm, I'm putting volume. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was so loud. Tell me, like, is the volume? Yeah, it's, I turned it down on the speaker, okay. yeah, but it was like telling me important <clears throat> okay, security that's... alert, and it was like a robot talking or something. Yes, that was a pop-up, so that was a message on it. Okay. So let me quickly just see. Just give me a moment. Let me just check a few things. Yeah. I was asking you what exactly the use of this computer that you have. Is it... Uh, oh, my gosh, he... He full screened it again. Work that you do in this computer this, or tell me doesn't even know exactly that when he clicks on computer. it at full screen. <laughs> in regular basis. I, I just go I usually check in the news, going online, sometimes maybe on uh I purchase some things sometimes and stuff like that. And then just whatever else I really need it for. Uh but I'll be honest, most of the time I'm just going online checking the news, you know seeing what's going on in the world because i don't got no tv anymore so i gotta check the news online because mm -hmm. i don't gotta i don't got cable no oh. more because yeah that means you don't do any kind of professional work in this computer right uh no no i don't use this for work at all no this is it's completely i only use it for my myself and on uh, the computer you know okay that's i got it i got it yeah and how many devices you have in this computer, sir? Uh, like a huh? device that you, you said. How many computer. devices do you I have in the computer? No, no. How many devices? <laughs> the internet devices, what? like your cell phone, uh, 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 online going. Uh, yeah, how many devices you have? Well, I got a. Um, I do got a phone. But I don't use it on the internet. I don't. I don't even know if it can go on the internet. And then I got uh, the. I do have an iPad, but I don't use it. It's only used for when the grandkids come over. That's all. That's the only. That's what we got it for. So I don't actually use it. Uh, so I really only use the computer. Uh, okay. So I'd say all that's right. probably the only thing. All right. Sir. All right, just let me check a few things, then I will fix it right now for you. Just give me a moment. Yeah, okay. And did you get uh, this kind of message, like your system is getting blocked or any kind of okay, message like 49. this, before today? Did you get any message, any pop-up before today? Uh, no. This is the first time I've seen anything like this. And I've had this computer for six months okay. now. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, sir. Let and me just check it. Just give me a moment. What is going on in the chat, man? Oh, all the oh the devices in the computer. I forgot. There's like a delay on the stream. Yeah. Uh, SSD, RAM, graphic card, graphic card. Because people get mad if you say graphics card. No, it's a graphic card. M.2s. We got M.2s and M.3s, man. I tell you what. Okay, you see that on your screen, sir, because uh, yes. why oh, I was wow. asking you some questions. So your computer is trying to send you this kind of uh -huh. warnings even several, five or six times today. You see the dates, actually, what exactly the date is? Yeah. That is a today's date. Oh, okay. yeah, that's today. Five times today. 
five times today, sir, five times today. Crap. And even, even it was uh, uh, one month back, 7th of March, it tried to send you that kind of messages, the warnings. Uh -huh. Why the computer is sending the warning, sir? What exactly the situation is when the computer is sending you the wires, uh, the warnings and errors? Because at yeah. that time, your computer is getting some kind of huge damage. And even today, it was the same case. That's why the help number popped up on your screen and you called us to get it fixed. Uh -huh. So that is why I'm just let wondered that why did not you get uh, that pop-up to get it fixed before because your computer is fixed with the windows firewall okay. and windows firewall is something that is inbuilt in all the window computer to help the customers like today you got a message by windows firewall to call the windows support and get it fixed uh -huh. your computer send you that same message to call the Windows support and get it fixed several times last month. Well, this, month of March, but this is the only time I've fixed. ever seen anything like this. I ain't never. This is the only time I've seen any, any, anything that's, like this. You know, come up on my screen like that. that but, yes, that's so why you're I'm saying it's been going for over a month. Is, you see the dates, sir. I'm just checking in front of you. You see the dates when the warnings and yeah, I see warning were there on your error. Computer? One says critical. I seen a someone say critical the crit there. Yeah, yeah. The critical warning is a very serious warning, sir. That Windows firewall instantly pop up the support number on your computer. What is critical? As you did mean? not get any message for. Critical, some kind of very danger uh, virus or any any attempt to damage your windows. Or that is a very critical warning. Is something that uh, also is warning you. The firewall is warning you about okay. uh, the threat. But the critical, the critical warning is something very serious. That means some damage has been already made. When uh, it, any damage already made on the computer, then you get a critical warning. Critical warning is something very serious that you need to take a serious action on it and even it was one month before so i have to check the history what exactly it's coming from it just, give me a just keep going and then. let me ask you one I guess yes i see that so even it's coming you from this is what, three months ago oh down. look at all of that error error oh error my God. oh my so let what me does this mean does this mean i have to Return the computer or or something or what? What does this all no, mean here? It, it, um, sir, there's a very simple meaning of it. Let me make you understand why this message is. Even you see that that's coming from month of January to your computer. It's almost three months, right? And your computer is just six oh, months yes, old. Yes, three months. And you are getting this. So the, let me tell you what is scenario. What exactly it is showing on your yeah. screen? It says that your computer was getting support. That means indoor support is already there. Your computer is under warranty with the Microsoft. Uh -huh. So even it was not going to cost you anything if you had called us three months back. But you said you did not get any message to call us. So no. let me tell you It's the exactly first time I ever expected. seen any like anything like this come up no. on the screen. I I ain't never seen nothing else no like problem. this Luckily, come up on the computer screen, you know? If, first time I've seen if, this. If that's the, even that even Mr. Mike, that's a kind of good thing because you got it yeah. on your screen now. I almost and you forgot. Us, my and my fake name is Mike the right warranty. now. So that's a good thing that you did. I almost forgot. But in the meantime, what exactly it is, yeah. sir, it's showing me something that last three months, why your computer is getting this kind of warnings, yeah. what exactly is happening. You said you normally use the computer for uh, getting news and uh, yeah. kind of uh, online Normal things that you use in this computer. Mostly, right? I'll, I'll be, you know, most of the time, especially if it's in the morning, like now I like to go on the news and check mm -hmm. what's going on with the news. Um, most I of the time, yeah. I need to check yes. the website, so what website for you? News. No problem. I will help you, sir. Okay, now, luckily I just you called me, so I will be. And in case if the call yeah. disconnect. Because I didn't know nothing about phone, none of this, and I guess this is coming so much. I mean, how many of those how many errors are there? Because it looks like it just keeps going uh, and going and going. 
Yo, no, Kimmy no. with the Look gifted the sub. You Yo, thank you, man. 459 Much errors and warnings. You see that on your screen? 459. 459. <clears throat> oh yeah, the number God. of events is 459. So that's how many even times your computer that it's tried to tell me? Right. Even you oh see that, sir, your computer was getting virus for more than 3,276. 3,000? That's the exact number that your computer was... So, does it, wait, yes, does that mean the computer's got like 3,000 viruses on it? Uh, not the viruses, sir, but 3,000 no. times it was getting some alerts, some kind of uh, warnings. So, I need to check it, sir. Now Holy it's going to be fixed. Let me first check what is there. That's a lot. And this is not the computer thing, so let me first... Let me first yeah. make you sure this errors and what is not just a uh -huh. computer thing, okay? Because, because as yeah. I check on your screen, you see, I'm checking that some of the services, you see what I, I have open? I open uh -huh. system configuration. This is your computer system and internet system. Yeah. And as I check in it, there's a lot of services that uh -huh. is, is stopped, right? So Stop. let me see which exactly is running. Yes. Uh, do you see services status? I'm highlighting it for you. The status of the services. Oh, and yeah. This is okay. not just the computer. This is the router. Your router service, that means the internet. Stop. Router is something your internet. So this is not showing you only the He's computer services. The He's services talking through it, though. Stop for your internet and bit oh, locker. Or it's like Lizzie, just... that means it could be your just cough, dude. Level. Holy shit! It could be your phone services. It could be computer <laughs> and Wi-Fi like also. Dying. So this the just scanning thing is not for the computer. So we cannot say this is a computer oh, this problem. This is frustrating. Me. Let me just check few things again. Yeah. The more thing I need to scan because when I'm scanning it, I'm getting a lot of things that I was not expecting. Okay. So let me just check it once more. So what does that Let's mean for it. the computer? And it, <clears throat> I will just finally check it and I will tell you, sir. Oh but before gosh, that, dude. I need to ask you one more question. Uh, the yeah. Wi-Fi, the internet that you are using your computer, do uh, you have any uh, password? Do you share your Wi-Fi password with your neighbors, your friend, any one of them? Do you share your password with them, the Wi-Fi password? Uh, no. No, you don't say that. Okay, it's a good thing. All right, just give me a moment, sir. Okay. I see a, like a black box just came up on the screen. All right, let me scan it a few more things, sir, because as more I'm scanning, as more the things... Um, getting that is uh, we need to fix so let me scan all the things before we start fixing it okay just give me a moment as you told me that you did not share your password with anyone or uh, your neighbors Never. or anyone friends or anyone you did the only right. thing okay. i get a password Very for good. is the ipad when the grandkids come over uh that's not matter so you don't, don't yeah matter. so i don't because they do moment, go on the internet but this only on the iPad. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Is this KC1 or is this KC Star Star? Okay. So when I scanned the internet now, uh, my question that was relevant to this, you said that you don't share your password with anyone. But mm -hmm. as I see, that was a huge number. 3,000 attempts of warnings was not yeah. normal, okay? That That's was why crazy. And the That's internet a lot. Connection. And even this is more crazy, sir. You see on your screen what I'm highlighting? More crazy? It said current connection, current connection on your home is 15. And you said you have only three devices that you connect with your internet. Absolutely. So, and it's... But it says your current connection on your internet is 15 devices. 15 devices are using your internet. 
Okay. I have to just check on it. Okay. Sir, uh, let me ask you this, and you need to tell me the truth. Uh, you said that uh -huh. you are using this computer for reading news. You don't do online online shopping. That means, do you visit foreign websites, like any kind of website that is not in your country, any Canadian websites or Mexican websites? Foreign websites? Website? Do you see any? Yeah. Any kind of shopping that you do from foreign websites? Like Alibaba is kind of uh, or uh, internet used, websites that you use. So ah, uh, no, I've used eBay. eBay is the US one, so that is some of the United States websites. That's safe. That's not the foreign websites. Okay. But your computer says that this is foreign address. You see, when I check the fifteen connections, what exactly the fifteen connections are? Uh -huh. It says these are foreign address. You see that on your screen? Foreign address. Oh, it's yeah, there's like a red thing going around it now. Yeah, so these are the foreign address and all these are established on your computer. That was the reason your computer was sending the warnings and error. Even the 3,000 times the computer, okay. the Windows tries to make you aware, alert that this is something suspicious. Okay, okay, now let me just check it, what exactly that is from there. Oh, it's Where that address is there. Uh, so what does establish mean? Uh, just give me. I need to check. Establish, that means sir, that they, uh -huh. that foreign address are connected to your internet. They are using your internet. They could be using your computer address or IP, anything. Let me scan, then I can tell you, sir, without scanning, I cannot say anything. So just give me a moment. Okay. Let me first make sure before I, before I tell anything to you, I need to make it sure, okay? Just give me a moment. Sure, yeah. Oh, man, guys, the, the foreign hackers. What do you guys think is going to come up on this scan, man? What do you guys think is going to come up on this scan that stopped? And I don't think you realized that it stopped. Let's see if he's is he even going to say anything. It's it stopped. He's not saying anything. Is he just not going to say anything at all? All right, just give me a few seconds, sir. I'm just scanning it, so give me a few seconds. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it's completely stopped. Literally, literally completely stopped. It's the, uh, is he going to, like, is he going to say anything? Or is he just going to write anything? <laughs> just, is it? Oh, he's running it again. There we go. Jeez. Scan shows me I have files. I know. Oh, gosh. Guys, there's files on my computer. I'm being hacked. There's files on the computer, guys. I'm being hacked. What am I supposed to do? Look at that scan go. Did he even, did he CD? Did he go to the, did he go back a directory? Or is he still in the same directory? Look how fast it's going, man. This is how, this is how you tell your computer has some speed, man. No, he's still in the same fucking directory. He didn't even go back. He didn't CD dot dot, man. So is this guy fucking new or something, man? Where's the CD dot dot? Man, come on, dude. There he goes. He's doing it again. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. He's typing it out. <laughs> uh, you 
Diving. Okay, you see there, sir, uh, I scanned for the yeah. foreign addresses one by one. Uh, two of them was just unknown address, but sure. one of them I got, and it was from China. You see that? Uh, so do you know Chinese are, language? Do you visit Chinese news? China? So, yes, but let me ask you this, sir, because that is something weird. Do you know Chinese language? Do you understand Chinese language? Did you ever uh, visit? I did not news speak Mandarin now. China? Do you read Chinese news website, sir? No, not at all. <clears throat> okay, then your connections, the internet connections that I checked, it was from China, sir. I need to just check one more thing, then I will start fixing it, sir. It's getting more scans are giving me more results on it, sir. So, okay. just, my God. Just Is this like a really bad now. issue? This a, sounds a, really a, bad. Uh, sir, even, even this kind of cases we rarely get, sir, because the, this is a foreign connection. Normally, customers call us uh -huh. when they get the warning. They call us in the first attempt. Even customers are expected to call us every month. Even they have no problem. Are they you are supposed to, to call every do month. this every month? The optimization and tune-up of the computer that you can done or I've, you can get done by the Windows yeah. support calling us directly without any extra payment. That's not cost. Because I've had pay. this computer for so six months now. So that, what does that uh, mean for this from year? Words, you need, uh, sir, that's, that I, I think, sir, on that internet, you got connections, the 15 connections are there. But in the meantime, what I'm telling you is you should not get worried, sir, because yeah. your computer is under warranty. But you need to follow one thing okay, from so next month. So it's still under warranty, every, though. So it's a, is, is exactly. this a fixable issue, or is this an issue yeah. where it's yeah. looking like that I'm going to have to buy a new no. computer? That's what I'm trying to see here. No, no, you don't need to. You don't need to buy a new computer, sir. All that is who we are going to fix. Uh -huh. That's why we are expert of it, and we are going to fix all the issues that you have. But in the meantime, okay. I'm just filing a case now because I need to mention when I'm fixing it. I need to mention what kind of damage it was there. Yes, mm -hmm. I see your computer was connected with with foreign address. I need to mention in a case mm -hmm. that the foreign address. The established connection was one of that was ch from China. Even the customer did not use any website of the China. Uh -huh. So all that I need to mention when I'm in the case detail, I need to mention it. Okay, let me do one more scan. Okay. As you said that you uh, normally use it for regular users. So I need to scan it once more. Just give me a moment. Okay. Yeah, I see this uh, thing keeps going and it's just like Fine, bye, so quick. I guess going, I don't I even understand. It's like, it's like in the movies, you know? It's like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's, sir, actually, this is scanning all the history for the last six months. That's why it's taking some time. Yeah. It's, it's doing a deep scan of it. Deep scan of it. Deep scan. So that's why okay. it was important to get it done. Right. Okay, cool. It's a deep scan, guys. He's going in. He's going in like the deep. Oh, just give me a Yo, R.I.P. man to the to the Gen V actor. That fucking sucks, man. For anyone who watches the boys. He's scanning it though, man. He's scanning it hardcore. We're getting all up in the computer, man. All up in there, seeing what's going on.
And uh, let me ask you a few more questions. So now I'm uh, scanning it for last six month history on it. Uh-huh. In the meantime, as I checked, oh you see God. that what Thank exactly it says, sir? The foreign connections was trying to Thank get your ID from this computer. I don't know what exactly they were looking for, but it says that they were looking for your ID and why the is, bank details. So do you do on okay, online shopping just on your tablet, on, on your phone, or any anyone? Oh, I see there. Online. It says banking details, it, banking details, banking it, details. I see that, see yeah. That, that Yo, Kimmy a, with the five gifted subs. Yo, thank command, you, man. So banking details. Yo, thank you for the five gifted get subs, from dude. Your computer Much appreciated. Or and also, in the meantime, Dude, they today's were been like a super chill stream so far, hasn't it? Can. I saw they were looking for your ID, uh, like it could be your social Thank number you, or anything, any ID. Bringing that up that subs- thing, and we're already at 13 subs on the stream, details. man. And Thank you guys, much appreciated, man. Banking details got compromised. That means oh, wow. you do online stopping, all kind of stuff. It could be on your phone, it could be on your tablet. I do it could see be it any says device that. that you use. Yeah. So, do you do online, online stuff, Could, sir? Okay, which, I got a question here you... now. I don't know if this is going to sound dumb or not. Could this be because of that iPad that I let the grandkids use? It could be, sir. Because I, uh, sir, it, it could be. We we have to... Mm. Uh, we cannot specify that for now because it will be taking some time yeah. to get it fixed and specify the reason. But yes, okay. there is a high probability... Because that two devices that only you use, the computer uh-huh. that is only getting used by you, phone is getting used by you only, but your tablet, your grandson is also using when they are coming to your home. Mind yeah, they, have we, made they some can do. And they, yeah, we. I just pretty much put in a password, and they can do whatever they want. You know. So. Yeah, that is could that could be the reason. So that could be the reason because might be they have downloaded any unwanted stuff by the uh, by online websites and it uh-huh. now they have uh, international access of your device. Some bad guys could oh, be because uh, the genuine websites have access. Let me so ask you this. What I need to bring the people. iPad to the Apple store to see that or nah, we will fix it, sir. We will fix it. Okay. We will fix it. And let me ask you this, sir. Sure. Do you do online shopping on any one of these devices, sir? On your phone, tablet, um, or computer? Sometimes it, I've done shopping online. Um, and, yeah, sometimes. And okay. Not very often, though. Because online say, shopping... Not very often. I do understand, but it, even one time could be risky, sir. Now let me oh. tell you why I'm asking you this. Because Shopping online even details, one time can be have risky. Is stolen. That means they See? could be, uh, they could, uh, they could guard that all the details now. When you do online shopping, you put yeah. online card details on it. You put all the details. Oh yeah. Do you yeah. do online banking as well? Anyone your device like on your phone um, or tablet or this computer? Do you do I online banking? I think I have before. Yeah. A lot of times I usually like to call, and I call them and ask them. Mm-hmm. Uh, like my, to check my balance that, uh, and, that we are getting checked. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Sir, calling is mm-hmm. not a threat. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about the calling the bank is not a threat. Mm-hmm. But you used online banking on okay. your phone or in this computer. That was um, the thing that I'm a little mm-hmm. worried. Mm-hmm. Let, me do, let me do one okay. thing, sir. As mm-hmm. I'm connected with this computer, mm-hmm. what I have done, I have secured yeah. by the firewall this mm-hmm. computer. This computer is safe mm-hmm. now. In the connection is safe. Your phone oh, line, as you are good. talking to okay. me, mm-hmm. it could be that they could, they could it could happen that mm-hmm. they have uh, mm-hmm. uh, linked your. Uh, they have also have the access of your phone mm-hmm. call. So what I'm going to do, mm-hmm. I have protected okay. this line encrypted. Line. You are talking to me. Line. What does that mean? The computer is connected. You said encrypted. I'll let what? you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Encrypted. What, okay. I have no idea so what, what that even means. I will explain to you. I will stand to you, Mike. Don't mm-hmm. worry. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going out of your computer for a while, okay? okay? Because I just want to make sure that everything is good. 
you need to check everything on this computer of your banking that everything is good. First, let me go out of your screen because I'm not allowed to look at the screen when you are checking your personal. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm going out of the mm -hmm. out of the computer, and I will mm -hmm. be on a call with you. Once you say that I'm done, I close the banking page, then I will come mm -hmm. back to the computer. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, open Google Chrome. Go to your bank, check the transactions, mm -hmm. last transactions, or any transaction between last 15 to 20 days. Mm -hmm. If any transaction is there that you made and it mm -hmm. appeared on your bank, mm -hmm. then I will file mm -hmm. a complaint of it. So please go mm -hmm. ahead. I'm disconnected from your screen. Oh, I don't have access. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead and check your bank right mm -hmm. now. Okay. Yeah, let me look. Let me see. So what am I checking for exactly? Like, if it's just a fraud charge or is there something specific I'm what? looking for? Yeah. Yes, let me tell you, Mr. Mike, what you are checking. First of all, you need to check it in this computer only because that is connected to our tools. So it's, this is the only, to, the only device that is safe now to check. Okay. That. Second, you are going to check your balance. If the balance is okay, you need to check your last transactions, like if any unknown transaction is there that you did not made. You need to check all that. The balance is good. No, no amount is deducted. And no transaction is there that you did not authorize. Any unauthorized transaction is not on your statement. So please go ahead, use the mouse. You have the access now. I'm out of the computer. Please use it and check all the things and let me know. I need to fill it in the case details that everything is good. If any unknown transaction you see that you did not authorize or you don't know what transaction it is, I need to uh, uh, file a complaint of it with my end. Uh, so please go ahead, use the mouse, and check it right now, sir. Okay. Yeah, let me check here. Yeah, please get it done. Okay. Um. So, I, hello? Yes, so, I have a call with you, sir. I have a, 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 a question here. Um, mm -hmm. Please ask me, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, I'm here, Mr. Mike. So I have a question. If I click all these things here, Uh, sir, I'm not on your screen now because I just connection, so I'm not looking at your screen oh. um, because you were going to check your bank, so I have disconnected myself for a while, so I don't see the screen now. Okay. Um, well, essentially, my, yes, my, well, can I ask you another question now? Yes, please ask me, sir. Um... So you said you can't see the screen, or you can see the screen? No, I'm not connected. I disconnected myself because I'm not allowed to look at any confidential details because it could be required to fill the passwords on it or lo log in the bank. So I'm not oh, allowed. Oh yeah, because the bank usually does. To look yeah, they usually yeah. ask me so for a password I when I log in on the bank. And that could be so, the way I will just check uh -huh. it and make. Mm -hmm. So is this, is it is the bank page going to be safe from? In this computer is safe, sir, because my tools are running. Uh, I just activated the uh -huh. firewall, fire alarm, and I have checked. Is it connected to my tools now? So definitely, this computer is safe. I'm not uh, sure about the phone and tablet for now. I need to check and work on it. Uh -huh. But this computer is safe now. So okay. I request you to just check it this and let me know after that so that I can uh, connect back to you. You need to give me that. So I just idea tell again. you if I so, see uh, like I have to tell everything you. Everything is safe, right. So I have to give you the right. client ID again. Okay. And I have to tell you if there's any yes, like so weird can, charges on the bank account, essentially that I don't yes. recognize yes. from my regular yes. bank activity. Mm. So I have exactly. a question that here. So you, you to told me there's viruses and stuff on the computer, and uh, but I just went and did a proper antivirus scan with the 
included Windows Defender here, mm -hmm. and it says that there is no mm -hmm. viruses. It says no current threats. Okay, sir, that is not the Windows firewall, actually. Uh -huh. That was attempt in your network, right? Uh -huh. when you scan well, we it, can do that, too. Uh, so the if Windows I go secure... here and I click on this, uh, it says that... Uh, uh, Right here, the Windows Firewall is on. Mm -hmm. Windows Defender Firewall is on for all three profiles. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why you got the message, because if your Windows Firewall was not on, you did not get that message on your screen to call the support. Your you firewall just said it was on. That's why you got the message. And then you said no, you weren't your firewall is on, sir. viewing my screen, but it mm -hmm. says right here that you're still connected to my screen. Uh, what exactly you see, sir? Where do you're reading that? Right here. It says connected to your computer. Uh, can you tell me the page name? Fixme.it. Uh, what it right exactly there. the page is saying? Fixme. Yes, Fixme.id. Yeah. Right. Let me tell you, sir. And then, uh, the Fixme.it uh -huh. is a tool. Yeah. Sir, Fixme.it is a tool that is fixing. That means, as I told you, uh -huh. when you are connected with my tools, the fixing tools, your computer is safe. This is one of the tools that we use, right? So Fix Me IT is a tool that is protecting your computer when you are when I'm connecting with you. That's why your computer is safe now. Yeah. Okay. So that's why it is. So you went here to where did you go? You went to application? Is this the one you went into? Uh sir, do you want me to connect back to you and show you that? Yeah, can you connect it back to me and show me all the errors and warnings? Yes, I can, sir. Uh, let me just do there. Can you do one thing, sir? Can you open the Google Chrome once more? You want to check the other one? You want me to open? Okay. Do you remember the client ID, sir? I'm back on Google Chrome. Okay, can you give me the client ID, sir? I already gave it to you. Uh, he's pretending uh, no, that I'm not that he's one. not okay, connected. It clearly says that he's Chrome, viewing my computer. On the right side of your screen, uh -huh. uh, there was an arrow. Okay, please uh, click on that down arrow. Uh -huh. Sir, can you stop pretending that you're not viewing my screen right now? Uh, sir, I'm not. What exactly is you, it? You're, I just tried. Do you see the file that I just sent to you? It uh, says right here that you're, yet, you're connected you to my computer. There's no log in here of you disconnecting. Sir, I'm not connected, but in the meantime, the Fix Me tool is there, right? You this just is one canceled of the, the transfer. That we activated. It says right here, it shows in the logs that you just canceled the transfer of the image. It says it right here. What exactly your transfer? This image that I sent you. This picture here, you can see me sending it. Sir, I'm not looking on it, the screen. Let me get connected again so that I can tell you. Sir. But you're already connected. connected. Please go to the... Okay, Mr. Mike, I'm not connected yet, but I will be connected. You need to go to the Google again so that I can show you what exactly you I'm talking about. You just hovered the mouse over the start button. I saw that. Dude, stop. <laughs> I've already exposed your scam, man. I mean, you're going into CMD. You're typing all this in. It clearly says right here, banking is not a recognized as an internal or external command. It says it right here. That you're just typing this in and it's not actually any sort of output from anything. There's no program running. You're just listing all the files and directories on the computer. You're not even actually scanning anything. I can go here and type tree and do the same thing. See, look. Oh, wow. I've scanned the file. Look, I just uh, sir, scanned I my desktop page. Please let me get oh, my gosh. Let me get connected. <laughs> I... Dude, you're, why are you lying? I literally saw you move the mouse just now. Why, why won't okay, you just so let me get admit to the fact that you're scamming? You're connected to me.
sir. Okay, how do I get you reconnected? Okay, let's do that. How do I get you reconnected? I to go to I'll go to the Google again, sir. Go to Google. Okay, I'm going to go to Google. I'm on Google. Mm -hmm. On the Google, you need to open the downloads. I need to go to downloads. Okay. I'm on the downloads. Okay, on that downloads, there should be the file that you downloaded, the Fix Me Client. Fix Me Client. You want me yeah. to go Once on this you open again? It, you will be getting a new. Okay. Yes, sir. Let me open it. So now I'm opening another instance of this program. Okay. It's opening now. Now it's opening. Okay. Okay. It's opened here, and now I have yet another client ID. Okay, give me the number, sir. Okay, the number here. That's the ID. Sure. So now I have two connected to me. So what do we do now? Okay, yes, now I'm connected back to you. You can see that, sir. Fix me is connected now. Okay. So please ask me what exactly you were uh, asking you me that where the what error this says is right the here. Can you read this right here? Okay. For me? Out loud? Can you read Let it out loud? Let me go to. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, can okay. you read it out loud? Uh, the current test that you're talking about? Yeah. Can you read what that test, says? Right? right here? Okay. Sir, I. Uh, I see that what it said, sir, but this is not what, a computer wireless that you say? can get scanned by the Microsoft Security. So this is your computer, right? What I showed you, is, I already told you that this is not the computer. If anything that is on your network, how can the computer can scan On it, the network? Right? So, what so I you're saying you that, yes, okay. a virus mm -hmm. was downloaded on an iPad, completely different operating system, mm -hmm. not was transferred over the network, infected this fully updated Windows 11 machine and is undetectable. Sir, the, the tablet, the tablet. The yeah, that's what you said, from the iPad. Computer. You're saying it went from the iPad All and that can jumped. So it's infected multiple. Sir, my my the, phone's the, an Android phone. So you're saying a virus infected okay. three different operating systems? And did that all over the network? What I, what I said, sir, someone having the uh, access of your internet now, right? Internet is the same internet that you are okay. using all the time. So devices. they're not. So the computer devices, isn't sir, infected. It's the internet that's infected. Is that okay, what you're sir, saying? Let me tell you. If you want me to fix it. Well, can you just you explain that it, point? That's what I'm not understanding. I'm trying to understand. No, no. Let Mr. Mr. Mike, I already explained to you all the things, but now you said that I'm scamming you. I already well, told you, you that. I'm I just trying to clarify. You You're that. saying the internet's infected or the computer? The network's infected? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sir, Let I me show you something. So if I go to Wells Fargo, like, look, if we go to Wells mm -hmm. Fargo, right? Um, and we sir, go I'm to the official to, so website. Please don't open the. Do you see what this says right here? Connection is secure. Certificate valid. Do you see this? Where? Right here. Do you see mm -hmm. all this? This is because this website is secured with right. HTTPS. It's encrypted. Right. All the data that goes from you to this website is encrypted. It's not in plain text. So even if somebody was literally sitting in my house with another computer monitoring all the traffic mm -hmm. on the network. There mm -hmm. is no way by them just monitoring that traffic that they would get any sort of username or password login information from me going onto this website. 
Uh, Are you telling so me somebody has a zero day vulnerability cool. in the HTTPS protocol that they can go through and just watch anybody's stuff and decrypt everything on the fly and see exactly what everybody's doing? Just making so HTTPS nowadays, completely happening. useful? And for some reason, this state sponsored actor yeah. is going and targeting me? Sir, it's From happening China? nowadays. Now it's up to you. The virus. Yes, if you got that, if you want me to fix it, it's up to you. So I already well, told I'm you just that trying to clarify. It. So and you're telling me that they can, that they're decrypting this HTTPS traffic and that's how they're getting my username and password. Okay, Mr. Mike. Um, I'm we trying are to here clarify. To help you if you want to get it fixed. Oh, I want help. So you're not trying to clarify. Something. Yeah, I want help. I want help. Mm -hmm. If you can help me, I want help. But I'm just trying to understand here how they're getting my username and, and uh, password when my computer's not infected at all, sure. but they're monitoring my network, even though I'm connected on an HTTPS secured website where all my traffic going between me and this website is already encrypted. Yes, that all the normal users are just assuming that same but in the same time we are getting handed of the case well, it's, every day it's right that here you can see that it's they're running out secure i can't even if i try sir, to connect with http is, it's yes. just going to automatically send it to https uh -huh. you can't even mistakenly do it it won't even let you connect to this website over http so how are they sir, how are they getting yes. my information this is this is same for all the users, right? And even after that, hundred. So this can happen to everybody. Every day that they got compromised. It's happening every day, sir. We are getting a lot of huge numbers of complaints that they got compromised. Someone installing the amount, and they were not using the banking on that time. The money was went out. Even not only us, the banking has the same kind of complaints every day. The same website for everyone. This is not if, uh, the website is created for you only, right? The same website so the Wells bank. Fargo the has some of sort of honor. Every bank has this vulnerability? Or you said every bank? Sir, I'm not, not just I'm Wells not Fargo? Able, I'm not able to help you with Wells Fargo. Okay. It's because you're a scammer, man. You're a coward loser. You don't do real tech support. That's all you are. It's up to you, sir. You you're an Indian to... scammer. If uh, <laughs> you're a loser, man. You're fake tech support. You don't know anything that you're talking about. I bet you can't even understand what HTTPS is. You don't even understand how that works. I can go on the Starbucks wi Wi-Fi and I'd be perfectly fine logging into my bank account. Okay, I just give one Because it's all already it. encrypted and secured. I could go to any public Wi-Fi and I wouldn't care. Because it's, it's secured. If I'm going through the freaking banking app, it's all secured. What do you, What is your... You don't have anything to explain this. You're just saying, oh, this happens all the time. How does it happen? Explain it. Okay, I just Are give one gone? click on it. We just turned caps lock on. Explain. I Yo, Reapy with the two gifted subs. Thank you, man. I mean, I, honestly, what I want you to do now is just admit that you're scamming people. I've completely explained everything away that you told me. I've explained it all away. You have nothing to stand on. You're just a, being a coward. Is this what you're going to do? You're just going to be a coward? You're not going to own up to the fact that you just got exposed for being a scammer? Oh, is he gone? Oh. <laughs> he's gone. He can still... You can see it's... He's got me connected twice with these programs here. Yeah, so he hung up on me. Like, my gosh, man. <laughs> my gosh, and this is what this is what's so annoying about these VPN ads, too. I feel like people 
scam victims see these ads about VPNs and encryption and protecting their online privacy and doing all this stuff. And then they hear a scammer say all this stuff about encryption. They're like, oh, that must be true because all these VPN companies are doing the same thing. Dude, it's, you're, it's already encrypted, man. You don't need a VPN on your computer to, in, to, to what? Encrypted twice over the fact? <laughs> and then what? You're just sending all that data to the VPNs servers that they control instead of your ISP? A random company that controls all these servers. You have no idea how they're set up or anything. Uh, like it, it just doesn't make sense. And then, and then people will be like, "Well, what if somebody gets on my computer?" It'll no, if somebody has access to your computer, a VPN is not going to help you. <laughs> oh man! But dude, this scammer man, he's like. Like, look at all this. He's, he's telling me that I'm being hacked. The virus. He says it's part of the network. I literally pulled up. You can see everything has turned on. I did a scan right in front of his face. Where'd it go? I did this scan literally right in front of his face. Right in front of his face. And he's still sitting there going, Oh, oh, no. No, you're, it, well, it's not on the computer. It's on the network. Well, if it's on the network, how did they get my my password and my username if my connection okay. to this website's already encrypted? <laughs> oh, these scammers are just full of crap, man. It's insane. Yo, Carla, stop with the freaking 100 bits. Starting up a hype train. Yo, thank you. How crazy are we going to go on this hype train, man? Two, two hours and 30 minutes here. We've been calling chotes, man. Man, I've been... This stream's been super chill today. I've been enjoying... I think I think today we're just doing like a chill stream. Like old, old school style scam bait calls, you know? A VPN... Yeah, the most typical thing you use a VPN for is so... You can have a different IP address. So if you have like, if you're trying to watch re okay. uh, region locked content on like Netflix or YouTube or something, and it says it's not available in your country, you could use a VPN, choose the country that it's available in, and then you could watch your sh TV show or YouTube video that way. Pretty much. That's like, I mean that, and if you're downloading torrents, there's really, I don't, I don't really see any other reason to. Use a VPN. Oh, and then like playing online games. If you don't want to get like booted offline by some kid, you know what I mean? Yo, Trizzle08 with the 100 bits. Okay. Bringing us up to level 175%. Yo, I'm B Dave with the 100 bits too. Yo, thank you, man. What are we going to hit on this hype train, man? What are, what are we about to hit here on this freaking hype train, man? Okay. Yo, Rotondo with the 100 bits, too. Yo, thank you, man. So the thing is, if I call back right now, I'm going to get another Ben show. Okay, I just give one. So what what did y'all think about that call, man? What y'all think about that show? He would just not, he would not admit it, man. Yo, Kimmy33 with the freaking five okay. gifted subs again, dude. Holy shit, man. Thank you for the freaking five gifted subs, man. Much appreciated, dude. And broken with the freaking hundred bits. Thank you, man. Much appreciated, guys. That brings it. Holy crap. That brings us up to level three, 28%, man. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. Hype train going crazy, man. Great call. Yeah, I think should that should that be the be the scammer ASMR video? Un unintentional ASMR. Okay, I just give one click on it. Yo, Wumba with the freaking gifted sub. Yo, thank you, man. He's still moving my mouse. <laughs> He's moving my mouse. He just moved my fucking mouse. 
He just moved my fucking mouse, man. He, look, he clicked on the username. He just moved my fucking mouse. <laughs> Gosh damn it, dude. Yo, I trained level 352%, man. He just moved my mouse, man. I'm gonna say, um, sir, call me back. He just moved the fucking mouse, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. He just fucking okay. moved the mouse. Yo, Carney girl with the 200 bits. Yo, thank you. Thank you for the freaking 200 bits. I've trained level 3, 61%, man. Oh, look, now he's typing. See? Mr. Oh, I'm not. I can't see nothing. You full of crap. Freaking liar, man. What a liar. Let's see what he says. Your call is not getting connected. I call back. Someone else. Picks up. I want to talk to you, man. I want to talk to him. To this guy. And why did he turn caps lock on on my freaking keyboard, man? Okay, I give one click on it. Yeah, hype train level 361%, man. Will we make it to level 4 before the Ben showed? Decides if he wants to call me or not. Here, while that guy's replying, I'm gonna like BRB really, really quick, guys. Really, really fast. Hopefully, he doesn't do anything crazy. Watch this chode for me, y'all. Watch this chode for me. Okay. Did you do anything? What'd he do? Yo, Kimmy with the freaking 500 bits, man. Oh no, the hype train's gonna end. Rip. <laughs> uh, rip hype train, man. Yo, Kimmy, thank you for the 500 bits, man. Made it to level 3, 86%. Let's go, let's go. Did he do anything? I haven't gotten any call from him. Damn. Maybe I got to message him on the other one. Oh no, the other one's gone now. There were two of them and now there's only one. Oh, is he actually disconnecting now? Look, there's only one. There were two of these before.
he's getting these messages. Is this one about to? Is this one about to cut out? We'll give it like another minute. If I don't get a call from him and he doesn't send any more messages, we'll cut our losses on this guy. Well, there's no losses on this, but I, I kind of wanted to talk to him more. I just wanted him, like these scammers, when they really don't want to admit that they're scammers, I just really want to, I, I always really want them to admit that they're scammers, you know? Also, I don't know if you guys noticed on the Twitch chat now, I added new auto messages. So now it tells people there's message for TSU. There's a message for the uh, for the gaming channel, and there's a message for the archive channel on YouTube now. Yeah, he ain't. I'm going to reset the VM because he ain't trying to. You don't want to talk to me, man. What a dummy hat, dude. Let's get some, uh, some, uh, dummy head scan or some Ben showed emoji in the chat for that guy. Okay. Let's get some Ben showed emojis in the chat for the dumb Ben showed. All right, I think these guys, because we did a full call with these guys, so I'm going to TSU them. Um, because if we go and do another call with them, it's just going to end up being, uh, if we do another call with them, it's going to end up being uh, the same thing. So. All right. Let's freaking do this, man. Y'all ready for this? Oh, let me get a screenshot of this pop up here. Shout out to TSU while I'm bringing this up here. If you guys aren't on TSU, man. Exclamation mark TSU, or if you're on YouTube, right there on the bottom of the screen. TechScammersUnited.com. Should check it out. My scam bait form where you can post scammer numbers, find scammer numbers, all that good stuff, man. Definitely consider signing up. We got almost, uh, we got over 5,000 people there. Closing in on 6,000 members on TSU, which is pretty insane, man. Pretty insane. Um, call it Indian pop-up scammers. I mean, that's the thing, too. Pop-up scammers? I've never had a pop-up scammer that's not Indian. <laughs> All right. If you guys want to give them a call, man, you guys know the drill. Exclamation mark TSU, or like I said, right there on the bottom of the screen, man. TechScammersUnited.com. It's the top post on it's the top post on TSU, man. Indian pop-up scammers right there. Uh I don't recommend calling from uh oh the voice is messing up on YouTube again. Hold on. Give it a second here. There it goes. All right. It should be fixed on YouTube now. Um, but if you're calling them from personal number, I don't recommend that. Recommend using a service like TextNow, Talkatone, Google Voice, or Skype phone numbers to call the scammers. Um, but yeah, give them a call and tell me, tell me what you guys get from them. Tell me if you guys are able to get through to the chodes or not, man? Can you can you get through to the chodes? 
or not. All right, I'm going to call back one more time just to, I'm going to just say Ben showed to one of them. I just want to see if they'll get mad at all. Bro, we're almost at the three hour mark on the stream, man. Holy crap. How have y'all been enjoying this chill stream today? Dude, are you guys fucking killing the number? Holy sh. Hello? Thank you for calling online technical support. You're speaking with John Miller. How much you? This is John Miller. Um, can I speak yes, to the. Yes. Hi. Can I speak to the master Benchode of the Benchode department? Okay, fuck you too. Fuck you. <laughs> Hello? Oh, and he hung up on me. Oh, that guy's that guy got freaking mad, dude. Holy crap. Well, he he wasn't he wasn't in character, that's for sure. Thank you for calling technical support. This side, Mark. How can I help you? Hello, Mark. Can you tell me why you're such a benchode? Yes. Sorry. Can you tell me why you're such a benchode? Like, could you just give me an explanation? I'm sorry. I, why are you a benchode? What is benchode? You. You're a Terry Makichu. You're an Indian scammer. I'm an Indian scammer? You're an Indian scammer. Did you know that? And do you know that where you are calling right now? I'm calling a pop-up scammer that's pretending to work for Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So See? Right now you're yeah, right now your call is got connected to the Microsoft securities. How many you're not you Microsoft. That? You're fake. You're an Indian scammer. Hello, my name is Panjit. Today I am going to come and steal your money. Give me your rupees. That is you. That's you. <laughs> you hung up on me. <laughs> I guess that one was too much for him. Yo, Grandma B with the freaking five over on YouTube. Yo, much appreciated. Thank you. I guess I want to look. Was that a little too far, man? Was that too far? Thank you for calling technical support. We're speaking with Abby Summers. How may I help you today? Your name's Abby? Yes. Are you a girl or a guy? I'm your sister's boyfriend. Why's your name Abby? Yes. Your sister calls no. me Abby, so... Why does she call you? Does she, like, make fun of you or something? Why does she call you Abby? Yeah, she likes my dick. Your sister's like my dick, so she calls me Abby. What? Your sister's like my dick. What does that even mean? You don't know what that means? I got a question. Are you a Bencho? Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm your Bencho. I fuck your sister. You're my Bencho? I've always wanted yeah, my own sister know. fucker to have. Oh my goodness. Hello, Ben Chod. How are you? Yes, I will fuck her in front of you. Do not worry. Oh my gosh. Seriously? When, are, when is this going to happen? Give me your sister's number. But I thought you said you already did it. You said you already did it. Yes. Do you know her? I... I I fuck slurs every day, but I don't keep their number, you know? So now if you want to see your sister getting fucked by you me... You don't keep just, the number? Uh, give me her number. 
No, I don't keep Slack's number with my Why not? Why don't you Oh and he hung up on me? A freaking Ben should. Let me call again. Oh. Am I blocked or is the number down? Let's see. I see someone saying chicken. Should I chicken them? Thank you for calling online support. This is James. How can I help you? Yeah, hello. I was just speaking to somebody and the phone call cut off. Can you help me? Okay. Yeah, how can I help you today, sir? Um, I need is trying to get help with the virus issue on my computer and the phone call cut off. Right. So can you please tell me exactly what problem you have? Yeah, I it was saying that I got a virus trojan on the computer. Okay. Is that yeah. your personal computer or is it a what computer? Uh, it's my personal computer. The guy just, uh, the guy just had me go and, uh, open this any desk thing and then the phone call cut off. Okay. And may I know what is the make and model of your device? Uh, it's an HP. I'm gonna just try this before I do okay. the chicken. But I'm gonna do yeah, a chicken, don't worry. Are you using worry. a laptop computer or a desktop computer? Uh, this computer? This is a desk computer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this is your personal, right? I don't. Yeah, I use it on my desk. Okay. So uh, it's an HP desktop, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what were you doing on the computer when you have this problem, this alert message? Just going online. Like, do you click on any link or any kind of advertisement thing? Sometimes. Okay. And are you the only user of this computer? Yes. Okay. So, how long you were facing this problem, sir? Oh, uh, I originally came up maybe 20 minutes ago. Mm hmm Yeah, around... So probably around 30, 20 minutes. Right, so you uh -huh. can access your computer and you can do anything. Well, yeah, and then I was speaking to someone else and they were helping me with it, but then the battery on my cell phone died. So I had to charge it up and now I just had to call back. Okay. So uh, uh, right now mm -hmm. what exactly do you see on the screen? I see this AnyDesk program. Okay, so I believe you have a Windows Defender. We've been streaming screen, for right? about three hours that now. That doesn't allow you to do anything, access your device? Uh, no, I see this uh, AnyDesk program. Okay. That's what I see on the screen. Like this AnyDesk program with these red numbers. Okay, do one thing, Sid. You already had a war with a technician before, right? Like 20, yes. 10 minutes ago. So yeah, that's right. They told you, like, exactly. They told me it, it's like a virus issue, I guess. And they were saying it's something going wrong with the network. All right. So I believe that there is a breeze on your network, right? Uh-huh. And... You cannot do anything. But yeah, it seems like Stay something the, like that's okay, going let me on. Just make, uh, just stay on the line, let me just make sure, okay? Let me just go ahead and sure. take the problem for you again. Thank sure. You. I don't think he's going to go for it. If he doesn't go for it, we're going to surprise chicken this guy. So don't worry. I'm going to surprise chicken him. Dude, imagine chilling at the beach right now. 
Thank you so much for staying on the line. This side, James again. So yeah. I believe you have a breach of the network and it's an attempt of hacking. And also okay. it seems that this hacking has taken place in the last 48 hours. So did anyone access this computer in the last 48 hours except you? No, just me. Okay. Yeah, just me. So in order to resolve the problem, you need to connect your device with the Microsoft Secure Network, Microsoft Secure Server. So we can go ahead and run some scan and diagnose the computer and we can see exactly what problem you have on your device, okay? Okay. All right, so now do one thing. Uh, I just want you to look on the typing keyboard and I just want you to hold down the Windows key along with- well, What do I do with this any desk thing here? No, uh, just hold down the Windows key and a letter R. Okay. Massive, massive headphone warning, guys. Oh, a little box just came up. Okay, massive, so massive headphone warning. We're going to go in raw. Uh, it says type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. Okay. So just do yeah. one thing. Uh, massive, massive headphone w warning. W -W dot www dot ultra viewer U L T A Indian man, my name is Billy, and I am in your ear. I am inside your ear, your left side ear right now, and I am telling you, give the rupees. But do you want me to go ahead and help you out with the problem or not, sir? Yes, you need to help me by giving me six million rupees. Give me six million Indian rupees. Do it. Do it right now. Oh. <laughs> My God. He finally hung up on me. Holy crap. That guy was. He must have been fucking desperate, man, to sit on the phone like that. And still not hanging up, man. Like, come on, dude. I he's just like you. He hears all that loud ass shit on the phone. He's like, "Do you you need help, sir? Do you want my help, sir? Motherfucker, what do you mean, dude? I just blasted a fucking chicken in your ear, man. What are you talking about? Do I need your help, man? What the fuck do you mean?" What do you what do you think, Chode? Do I need your help? Well, that Chode is up on TSU, so if you guys want to give him a call, uh, like I said, exclamation mark TSU. Uh, it's the Indian pop up scammers. They're still up and active, and it seems like there's a lot of them. So if you guys want to do some baits of your own. Uh, give them a call, and it seems like you could probably get a few hours of baiting just out of those uh, specific scammers right there. Um, because even after me TSUing them, like, what was that, 16 minutes ago? They're still going, so enjoy, man. 
enjoy. All right. I think next we're going to go for Norton. Um, which I think is this one. Let me see. Yeah, Norton Antivirus with an auto debit of $358 for Norton Antivirus. They want to charge me $358 for my subscription for $360. Man, we already talked to Norton today too, man. They were trying to give me the service, and then now these guys are saying that I already have the service and it's getting renewed. What is with these Indian scammers, man? Two hours ago, I had a guy telling me that I should buy the service, and he was giving me a discount, a $100 discount, and now I got some guys telling me that I'm, I'm freaking getting, I'm getting charged, man. What's going on? Anybody know what's going on with these chodes, man? What's going on with these chodes? All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another real quick BRB. And then when we get back. um, Actually, before I do that, I don't think I'm going to call these guys here. So I'm going to put them on TSU for you guys. Because uh, I'm skipping over this one right here. So, let me put this on TSU for you guys, real quick. Alright, I just threw that up on TSU, so if you guys want another pop-up scammer to call, exclamation mark TSU in the chat for that, if you're on Twitch, or if you're on YouTube, right there, bottom of the screen techscammersunited.com uh, remember if you do call them don't use your personal phone number you could use a service like TextNow, Talkatone, Google Voice Skype phone numbers Text Plus there's so many different things that you can use to call these scammers but don't recommend using your personal phone number um, so yeah that's up on TSU now too alright I'm going to do a short BRB and then when we get back, we're going to try and call Norton Antivirus and see if we can get a refund for this renewal that they're trying to charge me for. Also, we just hit the three hour mark. So let's get some freaking, let's get some Shiba Inus in the chat, man. Shiba Inus in the chat. All right. BRB, y'all. BRB. All right, we're back, we're back. We're back, and we're doing it, man. We're doing it. We're gonna call these chodes and see who we can get on the line. 
How y'all been enjoying the stream so far today, man? Hope y'all been chilling and enjoying the stream. Oh man, that is still. <laughs> when you go on the Twitch, the top stream is by this person, Maya, and it's sponsored by AT&T. AT&T just had a massive data breach. That's that's bad timing. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just thought that was funny, man. They they just had a huge data breach. And the first thing I see on Twitch is this AT&T sponsored stream, man. Oh my gosh. All right, let's call these chats, man. Join listening while working. Your niece had her uh, baby? Yo, congratulations, man. Listening while working. Yo, let's go. I know there's a lot of people who watch the streams while working and stuff. So I, I feel like that's why you guys like the, uh, um, the second channel on YouTube so much. Um, because my main channel now, it's, uh, the contents, it's, a con it's condensed down. It's heavily edited, uh, compared to, uh, uh, freaking, uh, the second channel It's like really long form content. Like sometimes the videos are like three hours long. That's just a highlight from the stream. And then we got the full archives. Yeah, I know you guys are probably going crazy to that. Uh, yeah, the AT&T data breach includes X customers data too. Uh, from what I was reading, I haven't read the whole thing about it, but a portion of it is current customers. And then I think a bigger, the bigger breach is X customers of AT&T. So, yeah. Might want to be on the lookout for that. All right. Let's see if we can get these guys on the freaking phone here, man. Let's see. Thank you for calling support. How can I help you? Hello. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm calling. I got an email saying that I'm uh -huh. getting charged um, 500, I mean, sorry, $358 okay. saying for an uh -huh. auto debit, uh, saying Norton 360 security is being renewed okay. and i'm trying to see what is uh -huh. going on with that okay sir no need to worry about it sir just help me out with the invoice number um where is that um, the email which you receive sir there will be oh. an invoice number just help me out with that number order number yeah, just help me out with the last four digit of the auto writing number. The last four is five eight five six. Okay, sir. So just hold on for a moment, sir. Let me check in my system first, okay? Okay. Just hold on for a moment. Sure. And can you please confirm me the amount, sir? What was the amount that was charged from your account? At five three hundred and fifty eight dollars. Is what I've been charged. Three hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Correct. Okay, just hold on for a moment, sir. Dude, I'm like really chilled out today. Thank you for being on hold, sir. So, as I can see in my system, you have been charged three hundred and fifty-eight dollars point ninety-nine cents for your uh -huh. computer security and protection from Norden. So what you want to do, sir? You want to continue with this service or you want to cancel that service? What you want no, to do? 
No, I want. I don't want to continue this. I want this canceled if that's possible. I, I if it's possible, yeah, yeah I'd so like to cancel it. Okay, sir. So in order to cancel this service, I need you to be in front of your computer so that I could I could deactivate those service services from your computer and provide you a cancellation uh -huh. form which you, which you need to fill it from yourself. Okay. A cancellation so form. Computer. Yes. Sir. Okay. So, so just be in front of your computer. I will guide you how to cancel that order. Okay. Okay. Just be in front of your computer and go let me know. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, let me turn it. Let me go turn it on and stuff. Then, can you give me a second, please? Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> All right, now we're pretending to turn their computer on. We're turning it on, man. Yo, shout out to the three out. Uh, dude, this stream has went by super quick, has it? Has it not, man? This stream has went by so fast. We've already been going for three hours, dude. Did you guys see the freaking Jinxy stream yesterday, man? I didn't actually watch it. But, dude, there was 170,000 people in that stream on Twitch. That's fucking crazy, man. That's, a that's actually crazy. Hello. It's an insane amount of people, dude. Yo, Brian Kennedy with the six months. Yo, thank you, man. Much appreciated, dude. I are not so Indian person. Well, they're in India, so <laughs> I mean, are the, what are the, the Indian scammers start outsourcing Americans or something? Done a Siski lately? Well, there's just no opportunity for it anymore. There's pretty much like no scammers that run Windows Seven anymore. Um, yeah, I keep getting comments about Siskis, but there's like, there's really nothing I could do about it, guys. <laughs> you know, Windows 7 is, uh, pretty ancient now, so there's like, even scammers, there's like barely any scammers that use Windows 7 anymore. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's just not very common at all. I'll give it like another 30 seconds because I expected him to come back and be like, oh, hello. Go to, uh, I'll be honest, I, I don't think I would ever go to India. Like, I'm 100% completely honest. I don't think, I, I don't even want to go to India. I really don't. <laughs> Rip Siski. Yeah, pretty much. Last Siski I got was probably six months ago or something. Uh, yeah. Today is going by very fast. I think it's Wednesday. You know, the way you think about it, once Monday's done, it's, you know, it's pretty fast. Once Tuesday's done, you're pretty much done with the week once you're done with Tuesday. Because once you're done with Tuesday, it's already Wednesday. And then once it's already Wednesday, what's the next day? Thursday. And what's right after Thursday? It's Friday. So you're pretty much done with the entire week. I mean, really, when you think about it like that, you're, you're pretty much done for the, the entire week. Hello? Is he gone? if he comes back to the phone is he god <laughs> uh. too many scammers taking advantage 
I know. Oh my gosh, have you seen the live streams when people go when people go to India? Right, at, right when you get out of the airport, you're swarmed with people, dude. No, it'd be such a stressful fucking situation. I would not want to go there. You're swarmed with scammers trying to sell you watches and jewelry and all this stuff. And it's like, oh my gosh, dude, what the hell? I would, I'd be so fucking stressed out that my fucking wallet's going to get stolen or some shit, you know? I would not fucking want to go. A hundred percent. Yeah. It, it's just like... It, it'd be like... It'd be the opposite of a vacation. It'd give you more stress. Hello? Hello? Dude, where the fuck did this guy go? I don't know where this guy went. I'm waiting for him to like come back to the phone. I don't know where the fuck he went. Uh, if I were to go to like some place, dude, it'd have to be some place with like fucking crazy architecture or something. Or just big ass fucking beaches, man. But I'd have to, like, really look into it. Because there's, like, so like the Bahamas now. There's, like, a bunch of crime there now where people are, like, fucking jacking tourists and shit. And it's, like, what do you do when, you, when you're in another country, man? If you hit somebody in the face, you go to fucking jail as a foreigner, man, you know? I don't know what their fucking laws are there. Greece, I, I have, honestly, I know nothing about Greece. I, I'd have to look into it, man. I, I know absolutely nothing about Greece. Maybe fucking Norway, man. I always see those fucking TikToks of Norway, the fucking big ass mountains with fucking all grassy and shit, man. Go to fucking Norway and fucking... I don't know, man. Declare war on somebody and start <laughs> raiding a camp. Uh, play Clash of Clans in Norway? That'd be the fucking... There you go. That's what I'd fucking do, man. Go to fucking Norway. Get like an Airbnb or some shit. Fucking sit out a fucking window or something and play Clash of Clans. <laughs> There you go, man. The dream fucking vacation right there. There you go, dude. Where the fuck is this guy? Hello? I don't I think this guy's just God, man. Ireland. The Irish. Or Greenland. Fucking, uh, what's his face? Mar Midi. Midi with a thousand. What's his, what's that movie? Midi? Schmitty? Fucking Schmitty. He quits his job and he goes to, like, Greenland and the volcano blows up and everything. Walter Schmitty, is that what it is? Or Walter Midi? Oh, yeah. Secret Life of Walter Midi, man. Schmitty. Walter Schmitty, man. That was a that's actually a really fucking good movie. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty is actually really fucking good. It's super fucking good. Dude, movies like that are fucking awesome. Dude, I don't know where the fuck this guy went. I honestly have no idea where this guy went. I have no fucking idea where this guy is. Hello, is anybody there? I'm still connected on the phone call. So he's like, they're spending money having me on the phone call. So it, <laughs> what is, what's going on here, man? I 
I, I don't know what's going on here, dude. Hello? Hello? Is, hello, is anybody there? I've got my computer turned on. I mean, he's literally spending money sitting on this phone call with me, so. I don't understand. Like, they're literally wasting their own money right now. That's another thing I forgot to say, man. Another thing about wasting scammers' time, when you're calling these toll-free numbers, they're paying to have that number on. So, even if you haven't, even if you're just wasting the scammers' time, if you spend an hour on the phone with a scammer, you've actually wasted their money. You've actually stolen money from them. So, that's just another thing. So even if a scammer says, oh, he's wasting your time. No, they're literally paying for you to be on that phone call. All right, I guess I'm going to have to call back. I don't know what happened to this guy. Thank you for calling this system. How may I help you? Hello? I was just speaking to somebody in the... F Hello? Yeah, in front of your computer. Is this the person I was speaking to? Yes. What happened? So are you in front of your computer? <laughs> yeah, what happened to the phone call? So I just thought you cut the call. So are you in front of your computer? You? Why did you cut the call? Might be some network issue, sir. What? <laughs> okay. So, are you in front of your computer? Yeah, I'm in front of the computer. Open your Google Chrome on your computer. Do what? Open your Google Chrome on your computer, sir. Okay. That sounds like such dad. an asshole. Mm hmm. This guy's reminding me of... Uh, I saw a fucking... Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me let me open Google. Let me find where Google is. I saw some real assholes mm -hmm. in public, man. They went into the store. They literally threw the fucking Doing money things, on the counter to the guy. Can you see your keyboard on your computer? Hold on, I'm opening Google Crown. You're going to wait for me to tell my story, jackass. <laughs> They literally go in. They threw the fucking money on the counter to the guy. They didn't even give him all the money. The dude's sitting there. He's like, he's like, they didn't even give me everything. Dude comes back in the store with like a bunch of change. Gives the guy the change. And he asks, he's like, how long is this going to take? He said, uh, probably about 20 minutes. He's like, oh, really? And then just walks away. And the dude's at the counter is like, what the fuck? And then they go, they're sitting in their fucking car in the Is middle of the road. Them? These fucking losers were sitting in their car. They didn't park in a parking spot. It's open. It's opening. Hold on. It takes a second. The computer just turned on. They go back in their car and they're fucking okay. sitting there. They're just sitting in their fucking car. In the middle of the fucking road, dude. I was like, dude, like, I, honestly, I wanted to, like, just fucking, like, break all their windows with a fucking golf club. <laughs> Dude, I hate people who act like that, man. Just such a fucking rude piece of shit. And, you know, they don't fucking say anything. They don't fucking acknowledge people, dude. When the, People who are rude, man, I hate that shit. And I was just like, what the fuck? And they're just sitting there in the middle of the fucking road. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Right on the other side of that road was a parking spot. There was literally a little barrier. And right on the other side of where they were sitting in the middle of the road was a fucking parking spot, dude. It's insane. Anyways, let me get... I just had to say that. You know, let me get back. Let me get back to this call. Hello? Okay, it's open now. Did he cut off the call? <laughs> he cut off the call. Let me call back. 
But yeah, it was fucking crazy, man. I was like, what a fucking asshole, dude. That guy's being such a dick, man. And it was like pretty busy in there, too. So I was like, you know, when it's busy, I'm like, you know, I'm just like, yes, yeah, it's good, it's whatever, you know, like, bro. And then how are you going to order the food and then be like, oh, 20 minutes, you serious? You know, like, bro, you just ordered the food, my, like, what do you mean, dude? You just ordered the fucking food, man. How are you going to? How are you going to be mad at them for saying that the food's going to take a while when there's obviously other people in the fucking place? Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I was trying to get him back. I kind of did, didn't I? Let me call again. <laughs> Let me call again, man. I kind of did, didn't I? Fuck. Let me see. I got revenge on the bench. Uh, thank you for calling your sister. How may I help you? Hello? I, I, the phone call disconnected again. I think it was a network issue. So, so, are you in front of <laughs> so are you in front of your computer? Yeah, I'm in front of the computer. I got... Hello? Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm in front of okay, the computer. So can you see... Yeah. On the Google Chrome, sir, you need to type it over there. Anydex.com. Okay? Search it over there. What? I didn't understand what you said. Anydex.com. Anydex.com. Anydex.com? Hmm. A yes, sir. What is that? A N Y D E X dot C O M? No, it's A N Y D E S K. K as in kingdom dot com. A N Y D E S K dot com. Yeah. Oh, and yes. a desk. Okay. This motherfucker really said dicks. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, okay. What do you see better, on the screen now? Better software? Yeah, you need to download that. Okay, click on download now. Download now. Okay. It says yes. thank you for Once download. Once it is downloaded, just do yeah once it is downloaded you need to open that app okay I open it yeah open it okay let me open it here oh this oh yeah i see it downloaded something here hmm. Okay, I opened it. Is it downloaded? Yeah, I just I just opened it. So yeah, it's downloaded. Yeah. Can you see your ID, your address number? Address. Uh are you talking about this red number here? Yes, just help me out with the numbers. Okay. That's the number there. Number. Uh -huh. You see a lock sign? A lock sign. A small lock sign over there? Sure. Are you eating something? There? Yeah, click on it. Can you please click on it? Okay. You just ignored my question. No, you will see an option set password. Set password. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. You you need to type it over there admin 119 okay it's a as in apple d as in delta m as in mother i as in indiana n as in nancy admin 119 admin 119 yes admin 119 okay and then confirm your password again type it over there and what was it again? Is it admin one one nine? 
Yes. Just confirm uh-huh. the password once again. You need to type it over, over there also. Okay. Admin one one nine. Ah, then click on apply. And apply. Okay. No hold on. Okay. Sure. Well, something just came up on the screen. Security warning. Accept, dismiss. Yes, you click on accept it. Click on where? Click on accept. Well, it just disappeared. He was trying to connect to me with file access only. Can you please confirm me the your ID number, sir? Uh huh. Hey. Oh, this guy's a moron. He's trying to, he's connecting to me with file access. He's not actually connecting to see my screen. He's connecting for file access only. So he, when he connects, he's not actually able to see anything on the screen. And he doesn't understand what he's doing. Oh, this guy's a fucking super moron. He's stupid, man, dude. He ain't Superman. He's, this guy's fucking stupid, man. What the fuck? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm on hold. I'm on hold now. I said, hold on. Dude, this guy's fucking. This guy's like a moron. So there's two ways you connect, and you could connect either with just file access, you know, to just use it as to access files, or you can or you can connect with fucking the screen and everything. He's literally connecting to me in the way where he's only able to access my files. So, he's not, when he actually connects to me, he's not able to see my screen. And I don't, I, I think, I don't think he realizes that he's not actually doing anything. That he's not actually connecting to see my screen. Hello? Did he hang up on me again? Or, but they, he doesn't actually hang up on me. He literally just walks away from the phone. Because I'm still in the phone call. Did he do that again? Or what? Like, like what? <laughs> what? What's going on here? Oh, he hung up on me. What the fuck, dude? Let me call back. Did he block me? Thank you for calling. This is Sean. How may I help you? Yeah, hello. I was just speaking to somebody and the phone line went off again. Okay, so tell me your reason, sir. My what? What do you mean my reason? Tell me your re- reason for what? Reason of your call. I was speaking to somebody and the phone call cut off. 
Okay, so are you middle or something, right? Yes, I was trying to cancel this charge. The last person I was speaking to had me opening this any desk thing, and then the phone call cut off. Okay, so you want me to cancel, right? I want to cancel the renewal, yes. Okay, so once again, we start the procedure. I am per I am the person who guide you to cancel, okay? So you're going to help me instead then? Yes. So please okay. tell me, are you in front of the computer right now? Yes. Please open up your Google Chrome browser where you can browse something. Google Chrome browser. Okay. Do I close this any desk thing? And please here? tell me. Yes, close this thing. Okay. Close this any desk. Okay. And just have a look on your computer keyboard. How much is that? Okay. At the left bottom side corner, there is a control key, CTRL key. Okay. Six zero three. You hung up on me. Fuck, man. You know what, dude? You know what, dude? I'm tired of these fucking chodes choding around all over the place, man. This guy is a Kolkata scammer. And I'm tired of it. Chicken's in the chat, man. All right, you guys already know what I'm doing, aren't you? Chickens in the chat, man. Let's let's get those chickens in the chat. That's it. This these chodes, these chodes are choding around. These are Kolkata chodes. That's where they're at. They're in Kolkata, of course, India, right? Let's get some chickens in the chat, man. We had some really long calls, and then we get to these these Sir Chodingtons here. And what do we get? We get Ben Choded. Gosh dang it. That's what I say. So let's get these chickens in the chat, man. Chickens in the chat, dude. Let's do it. And we're going to go cave chicken this time. Right when they pick up. So huge, huge headphone warning, guys. I'm going to blast the shit out of this guy. All right? You guys ready for this, man? Massive, massive headphone warning. Here we go. And he's gone. Frickin' Ben Chode, man. That's what you get. You get the chicken. Mess with the chicken, you get the beak. That's what you get. Let me call it. Let's see if they blocked me after that. Let's see. Let's see. Am I blocked? Or do... Wait. Am I blocked? That'd be quick if they blocked me already. I called right back. Fuck you, Banchoed. <laughs> he 
He's, they're already hanging up on me. Oh, so this must be a small call center, man. This must be a small group. Oh, boy. Hello? Thank you for calling Norton. Screw you, Chode. Thank you for calling Norton. Just... You Ben Chode, screw you. You suck. It's always funny when they keep repeating themselves. Thank you for thank you for thank you thank you thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Sir. Thank you. For... Yo, Katie Rip, how's it going? Hello. Hello. <laughs> he just hung up on me. Oh my gosh, I can't even see. Yo, the vinyl spinner with the freaking six months. Yo, thank you, dude. Much appreciated, man. I'm down a number, man. And I only got these numbers, and I already know these numbers. Is it TSU time? Is that is that what we're doing here, TSU? I want to try the girl voice. I can't even do it. They're just hanging up for it. When I, they're hanging up on me. They're not actually blocking me. They're hanging up. Hey. Yes, so what Hello? happened? Hello. Hello. Yes, how can I help you, ma'am? Yeah, I'm calling because I got a thing here saying that you wanted to come and give me a big old kiss. Yes, yes, I called you. You called us before. I remember your number. Uh, yeah, Last they said you want to give me a... For a male and now you are female. Yeah, you want to come give me a big old me, kiss. Okay? You want to come yeah, give me a big old kiss. Don't me. Come and okay? kiss my asshole. No, 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 no. You want to give me a big old kiss on my ass? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. <laughs> oh, fucking shit, dude. <laughs> oh gosh, dude. The fucking girl voice, man. <laughs> Am I finally blocked? He said, before you were a male, but now you're a woman. <laughs> Why was he talking like that, too? I know who you are. I've seen the call. I've seen this number. You called up before. You were a boy. Now you're a girl. I think I'm finally blocked on this number. I think I'm finally fully blocked. Yeah, I'm blocked. Hold on, let me go in with the... Let's see if he picks up to this one. Let's see. I'm calling again. Hello. Yeah, hello, Colonel. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, I'm coming down there and I'm going to give you a big old kiss. I'm going I'm to uh -huh. give you a big old kiss, you nasty chode. I got a ball washer okay, 3000 so. that you should use because okay. you smell like shit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You stink uh -huh. like shit, you hobo. <laughs> I don't even sound. Oh my god. It's so fucking. Bruh. I'm trying to get them to block me on my second number and then I want to throw it on TSU. <laughs> he got confused. Yeah, he was like, You were a woman before. Or you were a man before. Now you're a woman. The comment challenge. Satan? No, that one's literally just called Boomer. 
I have no idea why it's so deep. It's literally okay. just called Boomer. Yo, broken with the hundred bits. Yo, thank you, man. Uh, Bottle washer, three thousand. Yeah, that voice is literally. I literally have it labeled as Boomer. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm blocked. I think I'm fully blocked now. But you, you guys know what time it is, man. You guys know. Let me grab this and throw it up on TSU, man. Y'all already know what's going down, man. Y'all already know what's going down, man. Um, yeah, let me fix it. I shoot. Random characters. Okay, let me grab this. Ball washing kit. Yeah, I was gonna say I was bringing them the ball washing freaking promo, man. The promo kit that we sent out to influencers, man. The ball washing promo kit. Uh, so these ones were Nort and refund scammers. Um. I wonder if that's a URL. Hold on. If I go here. Wait, does somebody actually? Somebody registered this in 2008? Anydex.com is, is a domain somebody registered in 2008. <laughs> Yo, KD Rip with the freaking clip, man. Chicken? Oh, we just chickened him. That was, yeah, that was after. Oh, fuck. I just kicked that shit out of my desk. That was after we already chickened them. <laughs> yeah, we just, we just chickened them. So we, we've chickened these guys. Told them about the ball washer. The, the fucking ball washer 3000, man. I said that in like one stream. It's everywhere now. Bottle ball washer three thousand. Just give a click on it. Uh the freaking chicken. The Amanda. A man duh. Dude, we have like so many freaking different things, man, that we have going here, dude. Like <laughs> there's fucking like lore now. Like what the fuck? An image of the ball washer 3000. It's, uh, man, I don't know what the fuck that would look like. The hell would a ball washer look like, man? I don't even know. A bowl? There, that could be the ball washer 3000. We'll charge people like $60 for it, and it's literally just going to be a bowl. We're just going to send people a bowl, okay? So if anyone wants a ball washer 3000, be prepared for your your delivery because it it may it may be less than what you were hoping for. But yeah, I'll, it'll, it'll literally it's just going to be a bowl. That's it. Boom, there's your ball washer. All right. I can already see there's a ton of people on TSU. Uh, if you guys want to give these scammers a call, man, exclamation mark TSU, or right there on the bottom of the freaking screen, man, techscammersunited.com. Remember, if you do give them a call, oops, if you do give them a call, don't use your personal phone number. Use a service like TextNow, Talkatone. Jeez, now, I, now I'm like, my voice is fucking up like that scammer earlier. Text now, talk a tone, Google Voice, or Skype phone numbers. Bunch of different services you guys can use, man. But yeah, for sure, dude. But on that note, I think I'm going to end the freaking stream off here, man. And we're going to do a raid and stuff here, man. But yeah, how has everybody freaking enjoyed the stream, man? No way.
That's actually crazy. How has everybody enjoyed the stream here, man? Everybody been chilling? Everybody been chilling, man? Nah, like it's just it's just gonna be like a bowl. Like a bowl that you would like uh like a bowl. Like a bowl you can buy from Walmart. Like that's the joke. <laughs> the joke is that I'm scamming them out of the ball washer. Like that's essentially the joke. I'm buying bowls from Walmart and I'm and I'm upselling them for sixty dollars a bowl. And it's just a bowl that you pour water into. And I'll include like a bag of water. Bagged water, like we're Canadian or something. I'll include bagged water with it too. So you get a bowl and inside of the bowl is bagged water. And that's the ball washer three thousand. That's that's essentially the product, man. That's the product right there. So if anyone's interested on the new upcoming sensation, the Ball Washer 3000, uh, that is it right there. Good stream. Yo, let's go, man. Let's go. Plastic? No, it's not. It's going to be a paper bowls. I don't think you guys realize how much I'm going to be upselling these ball washers, man. No, not plastic bowls. No metal bowls. None of that. Paper bowl. One paper bowl. You know, like the packs of paper bowls you can get for like three bucks. I'm talking about like one paper bowl. That's that's it. And a bag of water. That's what you're getting. A raid? What is a raid? A raid is a, it's a Twitch thing. So if you're on Twitch, uh, the Twitch stream is just scammer vaults on Twitch too. Um, but it's uh, essentially uh, I choose another scam bait streamer that's live. I initiate the raid, and basically everyone that's in my stream gets sent over to the stream of the person that we're raiding. Can we raid S Revolts? Oh, like do a gaming stream? <laughs> I don't know. I I was thinking about doing... Uh, I had an idea for a gaming stream today. I'll have to see because there's kind of a lot going on around here. Um, usually I like to do the gaming streams when it's more chill. Um, let me see because actually the thing that I was going to do the gaming stream on actually went on sale just now too, which is pretty good timing so if not today uh probably later well it's wednesday so it'd, it'd be on like thursday like tomorrow or something but yeah if you guys aren't on the gaming channel man um i know i haven't been doing the gaming streams as much as i was um but i am still doing them and eventually i'm gonna start doing them more and more so if you guys want to check it out man i'm spamming it in the chat I'm spamming it in the chat. S revolts on Twitch. Come by. Uh, drop a freaking follow um, on that ish right there. And uh, yeah, we'll see about that. We're very close to 400 followers on there too. Less than 15 people. If 12 people followed, we'd be at 400 followers on the gaming channel. So uh, yeah, check it out. Check it out. What game? I forget the exact name, but it's like an escape room type game. Um, that seems pretty pretty interesting. So, yeah. Drop a follow, man. Drop a freaking follow, man. All right. Let's do this freaking stream, man. As always, thank you, everyone, for coming out. Thank you, everyone, for chilling in the freaking stream, man. Thank you, everyone who freaking donated, who just watched, who dropped a like on YouTube. Drop a like on YouTube if you haven't already, by the way. Drop a freaking like. Um, shout out to the mods. Shout out to everybody doing the things, man. Shout out to the TSU peeps. All right, let me do a poll here, man. Let's do a poll and see who we're going to rate here today. Um, yeah, let's do this, man. Let's do this. Yo, finally, another stream without no, with no fucking issues, man. Can we get a Shiba Inu in the chat? 
Or let's just get random emojis in the chat, man. Let's get freaking random emojis in the chat for the stream not having issues, man. Oh, fuck. I feel like every other stream we've been having issues, but today we had a proper stream uh, with no issues. So let's get some freaking emojis in the chat for that, man. Yo, should I raid Skeleton Siski, man? I actually might not even do a poll. I might just raid Skeleton Siski because didn't he... He was like the last person to raid me and I haven't raided him in a while because I'm pretty sure we're in like completely different time zones. So I think I might... I think I might just throw you guys over to Skeleton Siski, man. Yeah, we haven't done a raid on him in probably like six fucking months or something man i feel like it's has to have been a long ass time and i feel like we're never we're my he always uh end stream before i end mine yeah we're gonna do a raid on skeleton siski man let's do a freaking raid on skeleton siski man so let, let's get some chickens in the chat man chickens in the chat for a freaking raid man let's do that man let's get some chickens in the freaking chat man you guys know the freaking drill chickens 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 let me do this man i know there's a a bit of a delay there's a bit of delay so i'm waiting i'm waiting for it to catch up i'm waiting for it to catch up man all right man let's do this man chickens in the chat for everyone on youtube the stream's basically just going to end off so if you want to participate in the raid twitch.tv slash gamma revolts you you have to be on the Twitch stream to actually participate it, in it um, because on YouTube it's basically just going to end off. So if you guys want to check it out, twitch.tv slash Scammer Revolts, or you could just go on the Twitch app and search Scammer Revolts and you'll find my stream right there. But yeah, let's freaking do this raid, man. All right, let's go. Start raid. We got one, 47, 58, 71, 79. 91, 102, 107, 111. Yo, 100. We got 152 people here, man. Why is nobody? Come on, man. Join, join, join. Join the raid, man. All right. Well, we got 111 peeps on the freaking raid, man. Yo, as always, thank you, everyone, for coming out to the stream. Uh, TechScammersUnited.com, Scammer Vaults on freaking threads, Scammer Vaults on Twitter and TikTok and all that good stuff. But yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all.